Last time on Warhams, the no. group of Kidum, Dorothea, Myra, and Boris made their way through swamps, dangerous wetlands, and also fighting some beastmen. All towards one singular goal, helping some pilgrims search for something in a temple. That something turned out to be a shield of some importance. And they then celebrated and said they would take it to little Sigmund. Uh, this, of course, not being uh, Sigmund here, but rather what they were saying, probably being Sigma. Because, you know, some of them were slurring because of the fact that they were all not exactly what one would call healthy. Uh, the least the unhealthy of these uh, people, the one that was actively healthy and physically kempt and looks to be, you know, probably mentally sound still. I mean, all things considered, considering they were wandering around in the woods in a stupor state. You know, relative, relative terms here. Uh, was nicknamed Shieldbearer because... You know, you you had only that as a designator to go by. He has that shield, and you lot were continuing your journey to go find this little Sigmar, this boy who supposedly has the power and light of Sigmar in him, that everyone is following now. Uh, mm -hmm. To go see if he has any actual connection to Sigmar. And you're also going that way to meet up with a witch hunter who's going to be checking to make sure he is, uh, you know, properly Sigmar aligned. Through all the normal witch hunter means. Murder. I was about to say. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you know how witch hunters operate. Murder wouldn't be right. You know which hunter are which? Which hunters are the less retarded 40k Inquisition? Yeah, they don't just do random murder or wanton murder. They do normal levels of murder. They do targeted attack. They actually look at the facts instead of going, mm. They need actual evidence, actually. Blessed Holy Sigma is inside this child. I have confirmed it. They actually need, you know, factual evidence of witchcraft instead of just going, mm, He said something silly to me. I'm going to shoot him now. Yeah, that's actually a thing. They're actually pretty smarter than a fucking 40k Inquisitor. And you wonder why we aren't doing Dark Heresy when you point out this. Dark heresy is just um, everyone's evil. Just glass the planet. My ar my arbite is a great human being. What do you mean? He definitely doesn't have a torch. <laughs> just fireball with malicious intent involved. I definitely wasn't going to walk at people as that fucking arbite and shotgun their kneecaps. That, that's a crime. <laughs> No, you're it's not. not. Allowed, you're not allowed to shotgun kneecaps. They're a it's heretic. Only a it's only a crime if you get caught. Simple. They are a heretic. They revoke all rights to justice. That does sound like Warhammer. They, they, no, they have not, that in just, fact, revoked that sounds all rights like, to justice. Um, that is not um, how the new, the new Inquisition works. The what new Inquisition. Uh, the problem with the Inquisition is uh, the Inquisitor decides what is allowed and what is not allowed. Yep. This is tangent number 45. We're not even... Oh, shut up. We're not boy. even 10 minutes... We're not, we're not, we're not, not even 10, 10 minutes in yet. 10 tangents in. And you started this tangent. You're it was lame. a well worth tangent. I love this tangent. I <laughs> respect this tangent. Fun is good for food. Yeah. So the point being... Uh, you guys have gone to the next town. It's been a few days. You know, more travel, eating uh, wheat cakes, eating oats, eating dried meat. And this town is important because this town on your journey to catch up with 
the lovely pilgrims and their uh, grand pilgrimage as they guide uh, little Sigmar, little Siggy, uh, to whatever destination that he wants to go to has been going on without a hitch. <coughs> this is where we get to you, Sigmund. You are actually meant to meet up with this group of people as you've been, of course, hired on by this witch hunter because of your obvious connections to the church with S of Sigmar. You know, unless unless you're saying that you don't have connections to the church of Sigmar. It'd be really weird as a warrior priest not to have a connection to Sigmar. I, I'm just asking. <laughs> the, the point uh, is, you, you were sent corn. on ahead to gather information. That being said, you've come to what is supposedly Little Siggy's hometown. Uh, Little Siggy's hometown is down in Wiesenland. God. Excuse me a second. It means I had to deal with the fucking gnome people. Ah, you mean the halflings? No. That'd be Sterland, and that'd be the moot. Oh, uh, yeah. That's probably, it's kind of hard. They're all. I'll be right uh, back, guys. They're all short. Yes. They're all. Wissenland is where Nuln is. Gotcha. Finland. I only know where the trees are. The trees speak death. The trees speak death to those that enter. Which is why we cut down. You can't speak death if there ain't no trees left. That, that's uh, untrue. The only good news, I don't think we're closer to the vampire counts. Uh, I want to go pay them a visit. I want to go show them my new sword. I, um, I don't want to meet the vampire counts. When your sword turns out to be a, uh, a quote-unquote holy relic of corn, it would be very hilarious. I will still use it. <laughs> you Listen, I respect that greatly. I respect the shit out of uh, the efficiency of that sword. I'm going to tell Corn he's a fucking bitch and use his sword. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think that's going to go well for you. Uh, yeah. I have my doubts on your survival chances in this scenario, friend. Mm -hmm. Tell him to oh, send no. Scarbrand if he wants a fucking fight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, no, you really are that. Not, um... only, not only do you ask him, not, not only will you call him a bitch, you're going to ask him to send the guy he called a bitch. Not uh, even by the way, uh, there is actually rules in this edition to challenge the Chaos Gods. That's uh, is that, is that a way you retire your character quote? Unquote? Yes, uh, one of them is they just instantly kill you. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's that's a neat way of uh, going out. Um, uh, or they do something else. They cause you to explode. I mean, that's that just a... killing you. <laughs> uh, you can live for five more seconds as you bleed out. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get to suffer in excruciating pain while uh, they no... uh, monologue at you. Violently. Yes. Uh, another one is you get dragged. You get dragged into the warp to have a one-on-one -on -one showdown with Corn. Corn and his corn. You know what though? I bet you if you one v one Corn, Corn might show a little bit of respect for you, and then show you more respect than uh, Scarbrand. Than, yeah, than Scarbrand. Scarbrand with the with the Zine Shroud literally was like, "All right, what if I backstab Corn?" <laughs> yeah, at least I'll that take corn really on well. in his face. <laughs> yeah, or or my favorite one is the fact that um, you just turn into a chaos spawn. That's funny. Chaos spawn. You you now are a chaos spawn. You have no intelligence, and you're just braying at the sky. Jokes on you. That's my character, anyways. <laughs> I see no change. Listen, the great thing is elves are great at resisting chaos. It's because of our pointy ears, you know? No, it actually comes from how their souls are made up. No, nah, it's pointy ears. 
No, it's their soul. Uh, I think it's the point of years. Yeah, no, the point of years does need to have nothing involved with that because look at the fucking dr- look at the dark elves. Dark elves aren't real. They are. I they don't feel you. like any up in that BDSM fucking sex club. Dark you aren't real. I, don't just... I listen. I I hope that if I'm gonna get waxed by a, ch- a chaos guy, it's gonna be seen. Then we have to sit here for three hours while he explains why uh, how why, he uh, kills you. No, not uh, how he kills you. How 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 many uh, cards he has to play from his Yu-Gi-Oh deck to do it. You know, then, uh, by the way, I need to play this. I need to do this triple summoning. I, I know it is. Was... By the way, uh, I need to do this illegal move here five times it, in a row. It's Ah, uh, yes. Zinch, the god of... I'm only pretending to be retarded. <laughs> Pretty much. He, he's the god of autism. You fell off my rules. I was merely pretending to be retarded. I was merely pretending. Reality, he's just like, I, I planned for this to happen. It was all planned. I reject as, your reality and substitute my own. As the piece of drool slides down the side of his face. Damn. Are you saying that, in fact, he did not plan for this? You would dare besmirch the name of Zinch? The... Mm-hmm. It's fucking sniper artillery. Holy. I cast yeah. fireball. None of us are wizards, sadly. If you did cast fireball, what would happen is that you'd uh, you cast it, and then you'd have to roll and see where it uh, where it scatters off to, and it'll hit your feet. Kidding. Yeah, we yeah we only have one caster in the party. Yeah. Oh, and they're using miracles. Uh, yeah, that, that's magic to them. It's I'm not magic. Own. It's no. fucking miracles, man. No. Yeah, There's, it's not magic. You call Babe, if you but... call hold on, if you call a faith build an arcane build because it's spells, you're gonna ha- you're gonna have a problem. No, it's, gonna, gonna, it's magic. Wait. You're gonna oh, no. piss off. You're gonna piss off the faith build person. The faith build person can suck my dick. Which they oh, might man. try to they might try to spam produce mm-hmm. slam on you and lose because they suck. Because who the what? fuck runs a face build? You know what, what, you you know what the best I'm build saying? is? What? Anal. Blood arts. No. no. Blood arts? What is this? Blood, are you, are you Demon Slayer? Are you using fucking rivers of blood on <laughs> ironically? Rivers of blood. Are you, you know, Dipple? You strike me as an unironic Moonvale user. <laughs> Uses Moonvale really a weapon? Tips this giant fucking funny finger hat. No, I just used the sword of Canehurst. Ah, that is the best sword. Which one? Not a Giga Chad Kirkhammer user. Listen, I I I went through that game and I uh, I pretty much stuck to the Golden Halberd from start once I got it. It was good weapon, good uh good item. It's the only reason I wow okay. Uh, it's the only reason I even invested into Faith and eventually basically went from pure strength to uh, Paladin build effectively. So, anyways, what Sigmund? Yeah. You're in like Weisenland. Weisenland for one reason. Mm. Obviously to look for little Siggy. Now of course you technically can easily find him, because you know congregation of people over a hundred strong. Pilgrims leading this child where he points you you what you've heard, etc. Him performing miracles. But you're in what's his hometown, a small hamlet, uh mm. At first, uh, but it's rather become a bit more cosmopolitan in the recent years and is growing as a town. It has a sewer system, even. Fancy. Yeah. You're very lucky I'm not playing a rat catcher, otherwise I'd be scared of the sewers. 
<laughs> but you're here to wait for the others to catch up. But currently, you're investigating rumors about where Little Siki's from. Is he a runaway noble? Is he an orphan? Etc. and so forth. Is he an orphan? Yeah, because that's important. Because it builds to the mythos of Little Siki. That's where you come in. You are currently looking down at a merchant who has been selling strands of the of Little Siggy's hair, things from his cradle, supposedly, and more. What uh, the fuck? <laughs> what? You know, I got this. Here, have you. this. Yes, you. Here, yeah, have this preteen's hair. <laughs> it's like, okay. Dude. You want some of this child's hair? It's Little Siggy's hair. Absolutely not. What about this? Supposedly a pillow that he... This actually does not have my consent. This pillow he slept on. See, it has the twin-tailed comet on it. It's a sweat mark. Mm. <laughs> I have to see it's a Why sweat mark in the same of the twin-tailed comet. This guy Why did you those. make that fucking sound about... <laughs> do not... Do not fucking smash player trying to sell me shit <laughs> uh, we got all sorts of limited collectibles from little siggy well uh, what are you looking for to commemorate your visiting to the hometown of little sigma himself nothing at the moment no mm-hmm. oh hoping to scope out and get stuff from his actual house? Mm, I am not a thief. So no. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the guy keeps like eating a... the meat that's in front of him, this plate of meat, and what appears to be fried dumplings. That's a, Smacking that's his a... lips with the grease floating that's around. A, that's a really... That's a George R. R. Martin level of food descriptor, thank you. <laughs> the wet smacking feeling the air he's got that, some sort of that. that's for something else George R. R. Martin likes to describe <laughs> uh, what the fuck are we dealing with I don't know he's just he pulls up the piece of meat you know if you're not there for that what are you here for information of where he came from uh-huh. Right here in Lindencrest. He pauses for a long time as he keeps smacking away at food. But that should be obvious. Why do you think I have all these relics of little sickies? Do you think Are I just stumbled upon relics? them? It's exactly what I think you did then. I don't even think the actual relics. <laughs> That's what you can think. You know what? Uh, I could tell you where you could go to go to his house. That would be great. For a fee. He pops a piece of meat into his mouth, starts slurping on it, and then pulls out a long bone. Hmm. Can I just like have my hammer fall to the ground with an audible thud? I'm surprised you haven't hammered him yet. Well, There's no reason to. He's not actually. He's not doing anything wrong. You're just being a cunt. Yes, I know. <laughs> all right, all right. I still you try to throw it down. No need for violence. You must not to keep the faithful away from their mission. Show me where the oh, house is. Oh, yeah, I, I know how you Sigma types can be. <laughs> well, to be fair, we all are. Damn. Anyway. Supposedly, he grew up in an orphanage of Shyla. In this very town. Hmm. Now, of course, this orphanage... Uh, back about two years ago, 
collapsed into the sewers. So no one's been able to prove it. But when, you know, someone was working there and I was told to take away certain things and throw them out, I kept them and, well, now they got a little bit more value as their connection to him. I mean, to really confirm it, I think you'd have to go down and do the sewers, as it were. Mm -hmm. He grabs a beer and he's tearing it open. Yo, this guy could be eating some really good wings, goddamn! Oh! (laughs) They're ribs, actually. Yo, this guy really do be in some good shit. <laughs> oh, all I imagine is, oh god, I'm fucking... Ah, oh, damn it, rats. There are no rat men! Shut up! Um, They're not real! That peddler must sell his wares very well to afford meat on the bone. Where is a good charlatan? Maybe it's actually not on the bone. Maybe it's just like... I don't know, maybe he's oh. made some weird amalgamation. No, it's on the bone. He's eating a rat man at the moment. <laughs> well, fair is fair, you know. Though, to be fair, I've heard since that part of the sewers is kind of blocked off, the only way in would be through uh, Lady Inaj's house. Or part of her estate. I should go speak with her immediately. <laughs> well, good luck to you, buddy. Why? Jeez, how do I say this? I'm not saying office, but... What's the word? Blood? Blunt. Uh, you'll see. And that's what you were doing a day ago. You had learned this information, and at this point, you know your compatriots are supposed to be arriving in town. Obviously, going to a lady in house in the middle of the night would have not been a good option. Yeah. So, uh uh-huh. with that in mind, are you going to go look for these compatriots that are supposed to join you? When, yes. When come- I'm, I'm going to go look for these bastards. Well, they stick out for a lot of reasons. As they come into town, their cart, with a rather well-kempt gentleman, for the most part, who is holding a very beautiful, ornate shield... <clears throat> Probably worth, you know, five gold crowns. I Some see. noble's daughter, who's uh, in nun regalia. Mm. To the church. Oh, somebody had somebody had a very bad faith. And an elf. With a large two-handed sword. This elf's two-handed sword is very ornate and beautiful. Nice. And almost seems to writhe in the light. Not as ornate and beautiful as my fucking hammer. It's definitely more than that. No. (laughs) Impossible. Can we say we would hide the sword as much as possible? Huh? Are you hiding the sword is my question. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, me? No, never. It's attached to me. If someone tries I'm... going for it, they're going to lose a finger. And then finally, gonna take the, the guy that seems to be the bodyguard, this big hulking man. A thug. Almost, as hulking, it, almost as hulking as me. <laughs> the most uh, Sigmar thing. Let's see, actually. Character. Uh, Boris and Sigmund, which one of you is bigger? I have 37 um, strength. Yeah, and he has 31, but he has 37 toughness to your 30. So you're actually about the same size. You're both giant six-foot behemoths. Oh, 
You're you're just thick of lads. <laughs> is this Has nobody else wrote for height? Do not do not put the, do not look in Monday. Uh, I rolled not. for height. I got five three. I yeah. don't roll for height. I didn't because I didn't think it was important. So exactly. I just, I just make myself as I just make myself as big as I want. I just made it so that you know, proportional to what my fist stats were, and I got pretty good fist stats, honestly speaking. So, so basically, you have two giant lads, um, then two tiny women, and then this uh, elf. Elf. Yeah, five eleven woman. Oh, five eleven. I rode <laughs> for height. Giant uh, woman, tiny woman. I ha I just have oh. high toughness. <laughs> also, what is this about another woman? Uh, well, I have high toughness. I have 46. So Mira is the tiny woman. woman. Yeah. Yeah. She's a woman. I'm, I'm the one with the boat hook. These are two giga chads. <laughs> Boris. Yep, oh, Boris. Lottie, he come in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, Sigmund, this is the group that you're supposed to work with. Uh... To go out uh, to go meet with uh, Wayne the Witch Hunter, and then potentially go on pilgrimage with Little Sigmar, if he turns out to be legitimate. Yes. He's not a chaos worshiper. I really hope he's not a chaos worshiper. That'd be most unfortunate. Oh. That's maybe the elf in the party. We don't know that. What do we? He's gonna walk up to the party. Yep. Hello there, my good sir. You must be the Motley crew I'm looking for. I, I look Who are you, sir? Segment warrior priest. Gotcha, gotcha. And your business? A priest? Same business as you. You were told that you were going to meet a warrior priest in this town. Mm, in Lidman. Right. I'm going to look at him intently for a moment and simply say, I sit, I, I hope your judgment's better than the rest of So I, I refer to the rest of the crew. My judgment is that of Sigmar, therefore it is. Ah. <laughs> Oh, this adds fucking up. lunatic! <laughs> <laughs> now this adds up! <laughs> well, yeah, just like, oh. So what happened? You're gonna outlaw ladders now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was to the I... last Hyde Park Cardinal who did that. They hanged him afterwards for using a ladder. Why would you need a ladder when you could just climb the wall? I, I like this one. It's a, it's a waste of time. That like sounds like a colossal waste of time. It, it's actually just delusional fame. <laughs> yes. Oh. You, have a, you have a heavy enough spike. Drive it in the wall. Climb it. Simple. And that's what the back of this hammer's for. See? Mm. Fish. Oh, it has a spike on the back. It's a climb. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. I'm Dorontia from Rystar. I'm Caden. Narrows eyes of the elf. Shield. Shield. Uh, that's just what the guy that's holding the shield says. He just says oh, shield. The, oh, the shield was talking for a second. <laughs> Shield! Kill um, it! <laughs> yeah, don't mind yeah, him. He's just uh, dealing with, um... I have no idea what's wrong with him. <laughs> it's the pilgrim, up. I guess, we picked up on the way. Um... Yeah. Correction, we picked up a crazy person who was ranting about looking for things in a deadly swamp, and the rest yeah. of the group decided to help him. We got a pretty cool shield out of it, which I need to fix as soon as I can. He got a pretty good shield out of it. You want to rip it from him, then, then that's your priority. I have no shield. need. He, he plans the on giving it to the, the kid. I... 
I, uh, Boris is going to look at me. I have zero faith or and zero trust of any of the people as it is, especially the Sen. <laughs> I am Mari from Salvador Guild, Old School Shipping. Shipping Guild. Alright. Okay. Thank you, buying that. Well, as soon as you've done introductions. So should we be on our way then? Yes, so to go find the witch hunter and then possibly go into the sewers through a noble woman's house. Why to be sewers? fun. I'm... Because I'm the orphanage in which our quarry used to live in was sunken into the sewers. I, uh, I'm going to look to like, wait, actually, quick question. Our, uh, our thing we were supposed to deliver, um, is this the place we're supposed to deliver it, or are we still moving car? We're delivering stuff that, uh, <laughs> that our employer has asked of us. We're delivering I, it to I, him. I him. So, like, if this was the location no. we were supposed to deliver. Okay. The witch hunter is still um, several days ahead of you guys. Oh, it's just that she's having you guys go here to investigate this because she wants to get up personal with the uh, little Sigmar first. And is hoping that so, when you guys catch up, you'll bring some additional news and information. <clears throat> so we have to go in the sewers. Fuck. Well, I was going to say... Uh, Why are you afraid I, of going in the sewers? Uh, what's the abortion is going to speak up? I don't fear. I don't fear going into sewers. I fear someone stealing the wagon and everything in. Someone has to. Do we have somewhere or so to keep this safe because, frankly, shield. He looks to, like, the, he looks to the peddler. That's been, uh, I would not that's, trust that man. <laughs> yeah, it's like I don't trust most uh, most folk as it is to not try to grab everything in the back. Well, you do have shield. He seems to be up to the task. He points to the rest of the group. They're the ones that brought him on. I wanted to leave him on the road as it is. Because I, well, I question his identity as well. Shield. Well, all we just give him order if uh, anyone who tries to touch anything in here just bash their skull in with the shield. He gives a thumbs up. See? He gets it. He <laughs> does listen to orders very well. Honestly. <laughs> Shield and tear. <laughs> I like his mindset. <laughs> right. That's kind of concerning. So how big is the sewer then? Are we just checking underneath it, or do we have to tower the entire system? We have to go in through a noble woman's house, which means we have to speak to the noble woman. Which yes, is... and we should get shelter for the night anyway. Like Yes, as we investigate, fine. so maybe I can persuade her to let us stay for a while. Yeah, she likely will let you stay, but the rest of us are um, we're kind of just gutter trash. Shield? I, uh, speak for yourself? <laughs> for sure. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to speak up and say... I don't really care what her opinion is, but frankly, I don't see her letting uh, me, uh, uh, what's it called, the priest, or the, uh, what's it called, anyone beyond maybe the elf. Maybe not even the elf, actually, now that I think about it. Depending on what, uh, depending on faith. <clears throat> anyway, uh, the, uh, Boris is gonna move over to uh, get him move back over to the car. I'm going to find a stable or something or stock or whatever, wherever like they park the carts to at least park this thing. So at the very least, we don't have to watch it all day. Well, I'll tag along to make sure you park it correctly. Just looks like you significantly. I know how to park a wagon correctly. It's not. I'm not that 
not, I'm not that, uh, what's it called? Don't assume I'm just a pit fighter. That's literally why I'm hired for. Just gonna look indignantly, then he's gonna say, why don't the rest of you then go on and, I guess, seek that noble woman? I don't know. Promise her that she, uh, something that'll mm. let her, let, uh, make this easier of getting in the sewer, short of fighting with them. <clears throat> Mer? We got to go. Well, you heard the man. Yep, Please, let's go. Lead the way. Yeah, I'm gonna lead them to the manor because I assume I know where it is. Yeah, you had an evening to go figure out where it was. Uh, yeah. So that's an important detail. No, eh. Yeah. Ah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh. Okay. The manor is. In the north side of the fort. It's this old style house of old money. Though you're aware distinctly that uh, Inaj, the owner, uh, got it because of her marriage to her husband. As husband? Yep. Husband. She, she moved up the ranks, as it were. Or that's the rumor, at least. Though, that's what some people say, but no one to her face. Um, she's. You've actually learned a few things. She's actually particularly fond of hunting. Ah, oh, that works out perfectly. Nice. Which is good for you guys, as you guys make your way to the manor. The front courtyard has been refurbished in uh, some period recently, though not that recently, within the last several months to have or include a range for archery. Hmm. And there is some targets up, and as you lot approaching... Uh, something stands out because you know you can get past the wall of the estate you're making your way making your way in you hear the sound of thunks of arrows slamming into stuff and your approach is hailed by a well what you expect but somebody practicing and I will now unveil the Lady Anosh, who is currently at the other end, nearby the manor, testing her arrows. And her bow. Bow. Oh, interchangeable. <clears throat> yes. Her name is Anosh Beldro. Anosh. That's a lot of brown for a noble. Gray. High quality mm. is high quality. Also, you're forgetting the overcoat, which is <clears throat> hyper expensive. If you didn't notice, it's so many colors. It, it is very expensive. And I'm what better way to show your value than uh, by a minimalism, obviously. I thought that the whole point of uh, showing value was gone. I mean, that's what most people say, but it seems that the Lady Anaj here has gone for minimalism. You you could question her about it if you wanted to. I'm parking a stable car unless I've rejoined with it. I cannot. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the staff of the estate have been escorting you all in because, well, frankly, you have a noble blood with you, so they're letting you in. Rather than stop you. Also, the fact that you have a warrior priest of Sigmar here investigating Little Siggy, and it seems this has piqued the lady's interest, is what the staff member, after you spent your 30 minutes waiting, stated. 
making your way down the range, the trees leaning in, thick firs, almost like they are enveloping you, blocking out the sun. You make your way over, and the woman at the head looks at all of you with a bit of a... Uh, best description would be bemused expression on her face at the at the motley group that has approached her. You're the lot investigating this uh, little Sigma stuff. Yes. Well, one group certainly. Uh, one group. <clears throat> Uh, she takes her bow, and as she does, she preps it, stringing an arrow, and aims down the field at a target. And uh, whistles, and you hear somebody grunting. Uh, as you notice that two people are being told to, uh, you guess, move the target back and forth for her. Eh. Yeah, yeah so you see two peasants any... picking up this target, lifting it, and hefting it back and forth. While she has the arrow ready? Yeah, she's going to try shooting a moving target. Uh, Do I see any religious markings on her? Uh, like either jewelry? You can make me perception checks for that type of information. Uh, anybody uh, that wants to do that can. That that's a that's a thing that all of you can do if you want to look to see if she has any particular religious iconography on her. Average. Uh, I will say that it is average in this case because she's not doing anything to hide her affiliations, etc. Hmm. Hmm. Unlucky. I have a feeling she's gonna be one of the fucking peasants. It's fine if she does, they're peasants. Yeah, yeah this that's is true. rather unsafe for me. What? Well, what, what seems unsafe for you? Uh, didn't you say she would draw already? Yeah, she fires the arrow down the field at the target, hitting it. <clears throat> you know... What, with what's the, the problem? Peasants moving the target. Yeah. Yep. Yes, that's rather unsafe for the peasants. And, and Naj is going to pause at what she's doing is she's prepping a second arrow. Yes, and? Well. Are, are you requesting me to stop, perhaps? You will lose peasants this way. I am very skilled at this. We don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Uh, Caden. Yep. Uh, I will... I'm going to share something with you. Uh, aye, aye, Captain. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Um, a, th a thing flashes in your mind... Uh, do you, do you, do you follow that, uh, and look for that? Do I, do I know what that is? Uh, no. Huh? No. No? No. It just kind of, that kind of mentally flashes in your eye for a moment. Meanwhile, everyone else, uh, her jewelry includes this symbol, uh, on a lot of her gold filigree. Mm -hmm. There you go. Neat. Yeah, there you go. That, that's your detail. Um, it's... Uh, but you want to go into... What? Let's see, we have to go to that uh, oh, orphanage. The, the, the orphanage that sank uh, 
nearby, yes, I believe it. Well, that does seem to be a bit of a peculiar interest, but if you really must go there, I see no reason not to allow you access. Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh, it's it's not for our kindness, I'm sorry to say. As much as I would like to normally admit it were. Ah, I have ulterior motives, if you're willing to indulge me. Do, uh, do me and, uh, what's it called, Doc can't arrive at this point? You're there. Oh. You're there. Oh, okay. Okay. When uh, did you separate? We uh, parked the car. So they could go meet so we could park the car. That yeah, fun. that's fine. You can park the car. <clears throat> yeah, so we would meet the, up with the, them later. The uh, the servants will make sure the cart gets parked. Okay. Shield will stay with it. He sits there. It looks, okay. you know. Fuck. I don't care. I'm damn about Shield. When we get back. When we get back. There's like ten dead dead thieves around it. Shield. Shield. I, I assume it was the, the shield and not the uh, the bearer. <laughs> Just the shield possesses him. Pretty much. Uh, no, but my character speaks up. You're quite uh, frank with ulterior motives. You, and I assume you have no shortage of the of coin for better uh, for better hands. So what uh, what do you need a motley crew? For? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? It's more fun to see how a motley crew handles these tasks. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a young widow. I don't have my stalwart warrior husband around. I I need some things to add amusement to my life. Uh, oh oh, you want an uh, more concrete reason besides that? I assume. Teach me. He shakes the head. I don't need. I don't need a noble to uh, able to explain their. Uh, what's it called? Their their <clears throat> their need. Uh, the needs to essentially kill, uh, kill time. Sure. So I'm what's the? Oh, sorry about that. Well, to explain it in simpler terms, there has been, uh, well, a cult. I believe, operating in our sewers. And the uh, town militia has not been willing to instigate an investigation down there for my requests. So, oh dear. a motley yeah. band of adventurers sounds like a perfect reasoning. If none of you come back, well, that proves it. And if you all do come back and prove it. I get vindication out of the way. Uh, as it were. Hmm. Simple enough. I just need you lot to go to a particular part of the sewers down there and investigate. And what if we come back and there is more homeless people? And if you come like, back well, and there is <clears throat> and you have failed to handle them? Well, that's a, that's a here, that's a problem for not the here and now, but the future. Again, I believe it to be, but it could be wrong. I could be wrong. I simply want you lot to investigate for me. Make sure my uh, thoughts aren't true in this instance. And if they are, well, then do what you can to aid me in handling it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Is it ask. known gonna, what these cultists... Oh, who were of the gods these cultists worship? Oh, yes, yes. They worship a malign power. They hmm. have been... That is at least the rumor, and I personally believe it to be true. As I said, that's why I'm asking. We can't Am have I... dangerous people from those wastes to the north causing trouble for 
good folk of the Empire. Certainly, these these people must be shown the right way. Should they exist? Exactly. So are you all on board? I suppose. During this uh, conversation, does anything seem off with what she's saying? Like, does it seem like she's holding anything back? Uh, roll intuition, I'm challenging. I, ju I just want to, what's it called, speak with my dog at some point, like one to one. Do you want to speak with on one to one? The, the dock hands and like direct next character. Sorry. Oh, well, then, then do that. We can, we'll cut away for a minute so you guys can have your little heart to heart. Go for it. Okay. Signal mirror over. God, you're so quiet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> direct next there. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. The, or is a signal you over? So, assuming come over. Yeah, so just... Tell me something. In your time you've worked for, as a dark hand, have you ever had a noble end up not getting a militia or a soldier to do what they want when there's a problem, generally speaking? Mm, when I've dealt from one of my time, my boss probably has dealt with something like that. I've heard rumors, but usually they always find a way to get what they want. Uh, it's pretty easy to get send people down somewhere where they should not belong. It's the yeah. same easy how a merchant who doesn't pay their dues, their ship may be overfilled on one side. And once they hit out in the sea, whoops, cast. Yeah. He runs his ship. I have a bad about this. I don't think she's being forthcoming with everything, frankly speaking. If I were to take my bet, I'm guessing we're walking into a death trap. Oh, well, I fully expect the same thing, so... <clears throat> then we're on the same page. If I don't see a contract involved, I expect ill tides for us. Fair enough. Good way to look. Anyway, he's gonna just uh, return back to the so that was, that was all. So, if, uh, Ah, Doc. yes, contracts. The best way to handle these things. <laughs> Legal bullshit. <laughs> when they can't be handled legally, you handle it with violence. Yes. That's the only ways to handle them. Isn't that just Warhammer? Yes. Yes. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Such is the way. This is the way, actually. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Given the fact that the, the damn dock yields are fucking cutthroat places in the <laughs> world I read. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah. So. Anyhow. You guys got yourselves a investigation. Are you willing to enter into some sewers and handle some dark secrets? Uh, the yeah. proverbial nightmare. Uh, yeah. I don't uh, trust it, but Dorothy I Dorothy will, however, it. also ask for shelter for the night, and once, uh, the investigation is complete, probably a bath. <laughs> you know. We will be going through sewer, so afterwards we should probably clean up. Yeah. It's, okay, it's a decommissioned part of the sewer, but yes, uh, you probably no should. Uh, and as for rooms, I have a lovely secondary townhouse that your lesser companions can use for the evening. We'll consider that part of your payment, along with Hmm. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, turn the what door. What are you talking about? All right. She spins her fingers and reaches into a little pocket at her side and draws out a uh, pair of gold crowns. Oh. Assuming it's between all of us. Hmm. 
we pay money. Mm. Money. <laughs> Dorothea, she hands you the two gold crowns. Once the task is complete, I will pay the rest. Certainly. Sounds good. It yeah. sounds like we have an arrangement, as it were. Good luck. The entrance way, uh, Ten Penny will lead you there. Yes, uh, right away. Looks at the collected group. Uh, Looks back. <laughs> this old porter just gulps and then starts leading you guys along. Uh, this uh, way, please. Okay. Uh, oh, please mind yourselves on the ladies' lawn and don't do anything drastic or violent or anything else that you type of rap scallions would get up to. I'm gonna look the right Rap like, scallions. I'm a uh, dock just... hand. Doesn't it sound like I want to get into a fight for no reason? I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say that violence is quite literally within my job as a once you get into the sewers and are conducting the lady's business, that will be on you. Uh, I'm bringing a corpse back up to the lawn if there is some kind of fight there. It'll be the proof that you, that you get. Throughout yeah. this whole walk from point A to I assume we're getting taken all the way to the sewers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I am going to keep an eye out for that symbol. See if I see it okay. anywhere along uh, this property. Symbol of crawl. Yeah, uh, you you keep swearing you see it in places, flickering in the side of your vision. Uh, as though it, uh, it's just there, the corner of your eye, leading you along towards the sewer, as it were. Oh, oh, fantastic. Uh, I will go up just... I will wait till we get to the sewer and this person leaves before I say anything. As to not sound alarm bells. I sound alarm. Elf shares news. Everyone goes, oh shit. <laughs> Elf shares news. Probably here or soon. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like you guys uh, got an idea. I'm huh? just waiting for the uh, for us to get to like the manhole or yeah. Jeremy or Jerome uh -huh. or whatever his name was to fuck off after he's led us to our manhole. Uh, well, Ten Penny leads you. <laughs> To yeah, a that. part of the estate uh, where you come to what appears to be an older building. Probably some sort of cistern building. And he leads you down the steps. This way, please. Mind your steps. Right. Uh, this way. This way. Who's the furthest in the back? Not me. Would, oh, be somewhere in the middle. I'd probably be in the back because uh, I'm basically the glorified um, porter for the party. And that was Maria that said that? Yeah. Uh, Caden, seeing that this might be a little longer than he'd like, will fall back to Maria and very quietly whisper in Maria's ear, Hey, uh, I was looking for a religious symbol on that person, and uh, all along this walk to the sewer, I swear I've just been seeing Zinch symbols. I would not trust this at all. Ah, you know, she gets like deathly quiet. Yeah. 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 Be oh. on guard, we don't want the butler to be alerted in case he's working for them. This way, please. He leads you down some steps down to this room in the center of the map. 
this is part of the old cistern system that connects into the sewers. This was a uh, sorting house. The entranceway is over there. He points to the large doors. Uh, these other doors were installed afterwards uh, to examine the place uh, and expand. But then, of course, it was then made defunct. And now they just stand uh, somewhere in this system. Supposedly will be your uh, location. And the things that my lady is requesting of you. Uh, thank you very much for guiding us here. That, that is perfectly all right. I will be staying here for the evening to make sure that you lot get back. If you're not back by dawn, I will be going to inform my lady of your unfortunate demise. <laughs> I'm gonna just look to him and I'll be like, we can't just simply walk back there and our and our living being enough to I don't know, be proof. You know, if there are cultists out here, aren't you going to be in danger? <clears throat> I will be sealing the door behind me. Wonderful. So you're sealing our only eggs. No. I will be sealing it behind me and staying with you lot with the keys. Clearly these cultists are not of the intellectual world. They will not understand how to open a door. Do I see any of the mark that I've been seeing on uh, him? Uh, yeah, you kind of can see it on the... It's been uh, kind of carved onto the door that leads into the sewer along with that other mark he saw. Ah. Uh. And a third one. Oh. Well, would anyone else uh, see it at this point, considering it's... Oh, uh, yeah, it's there. Uh, yeah, Caden... Kaden... You, you can post that mark There's... in the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, they switched yeah, for... Yeah. Caden will uh, also uh, go up to the Age of Sigmar. Or not the Age of Sigmar. The Age of Sigmar. <laughs> Listen. Age. It's not there yet. <laughs> the, the, the Priest of Sigmar. And point out the symbols in case... Well, they they only see the yeah. the the one that you were seeing with yeah. here, and yeah. this new one. That's the only two they see. Okay, yeah. I'll What's the this new one? one? This one. Nurgle. Don't know what the problem is, guys. Aren't you excited? <laughs> You're gonna be making friends soon. This guy better seal the door really quickly. Or he's getting a hammer to head. <laughs> he's just an old man. An old. Did I check? Wait, so um, where where do we put our token out in this whole like Foul heresy again, center of the map. The center, center of the map. Okay. So okay. Uh, yeah, okay. there's the three doors. Off, off center to the right. But yeah, right there. That's the thing. Yeah, just slight panic because it's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Please be careful. We wish you the best of luck. I will deal with you later. What? I, he, he, what's it called? Boris is gonna, what's it called? Rub the, uh, rub the, uh, what's it called? His ear with his, uh, fingers. Say, so, this was, uh, this was trouble, as I was guessing. Yes, uh, I was noticing it on the walk. I had a flash on the noble woman when I was looking for a religious symbol. She's a part of whatever this, this is, madman yeah. group is. Maybe leader? I Maybe would cultivator. assume so. We'll have to kill her later then, what I'd say. Looks to the, uh, he looks to the, the priest. So if there's he anyone who, oh, what, if there's anyone who rebuff a, uh, what's it called? Rebuff cra crazed mad cultists, I think you'd be the best at it. Um, I've done it many a time before. Yes. Yeah, like, then uh, I will trust on your judgment for executing. Let's find the the closest way of getting back out of here. Don't worry. I will open the door once you think that it is clear. I'm just I'm just tuning him out at this point. I don't care what he's saying. Like I. Uh, let's let's get away. Let's move deeper and get away. Bloody murder. Yes. Yeah. Keep the damn. 
Let's uh, move okay. deeper in. <clears throat> Which direction, Sigmund? <laughs> well, like I know, like I know the sewer system. I don't live in the sewers. But yes, right, well, I I'll assume you're the best at tracking these. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh. I think this way. Um, they, I think the no, that probably wouldn't work. Yeah. They probably would not be where the air is the strongest because I don't know where it would be. I just we are I'm picking a door. I can only see three doors. We are Do you dealing. See anything else? We are dealing with Nurgle cultists. They'll be where the most filth is. I don't know what a Nurgle is or or, or what they worship, but if they get in my way, then the. Then they'll learn what my what a war axe ends up doing to a human head. I believe it is this way. He's gonna okay. stop at that door and turn around. We are now going the other way. Fine. Into the deep sewers. Yep. The sewer rats. So this area is pretty dark, uh, for a lot of reasons. You know, almost Why? like it's a sewer. Uh, old sewer. Is there anything that looks like a light I can use? Uh, you guys have the ability to make lights, etc. But there is also a lantern. The old man has given you a lantern. I oh, carry that. Lantern. I will carry the lantern since otherwise oh, yeah, I would be quite useless. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm still also going to carry a torch or something I could get out so we have more than one light. Yep. Uh, Sigmund, uh, you can make a perception check. Kaden will have his stored weapon. Mm, what's Ken the. What's the, uh... It will be challenging. Challenging, okay. Oh, my. You have a good perception. I do. <gasps> yeah, go. Oh, you both made it. Okay. You guys can see, in the water, a large lizard. Lizard. No, it's a sewer gator. It stares at you. It seems to be prepping to ambush attack someone that gets near it. Gator here. Don't go near it. Uh, suddenly. It, mm. it, it opens its maw. As you maw. point to it, really good. It caught out and it goes... Rrr. Its ah. mouth opens wide, but it doesn't attack. It just starts slinking away into the sewage. Have Blessed fun. Sigma! The sewage around as it moves. Get don't get too uh don't get too worked up. Those are those are commonly used in the pit in the pits. <clears throat> Heading south then I see. Yep. Keep moving. You just keep Part of the sewer. Sewer. The sewer south gate. and the cross. Up, What's it called? These two seem to be falling behind them. Yeah, Dorothea is your light for reference. Yeah, I know that's why I'm sick. My light is Sigma. <laughs> the most Sigma <laughs> thing to. I think both the put an aura. thing is like they're both to the back, like twenty really yards. Quiet. So that's. <laughs> Pretty far. Not much yards, especially feet. Yeah, I can that's do yards, three yards feet because it's, but it's feet. annoying because it's like. It should square. be two yards per square. Yeah. So two yards per square, then it would be about like five squares out. No, no, 15? it would not be. It's what it currently is. <sighs> okay. Mm. I don't try the heads and tails. They should be. Caden, you have a flash of inspiration in your mind. Ah. Uh, Delicious inspiration. Delicious. Uh, Whoa. Blood. You could spill blood here. I don't. You know, ah. there's a creature here that hasn't noticed you. Have I noticed it? Yes. It's another one of those sewer lizards. I'm not it hasn't gonna... noticed you guys, and it is right next to Sigmund's feet, and he hasn't noticed it either. I will point it out to Sigmund. I will no, not no. attack it. No why? Yeah. No reason to. It, 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 there's a, you know, there's another sewer gator, and it's just kind of resting there and stares at you both when you pass by. Except you realize that it's asleep. 
going to look at you angrily. You can hear along. anything to it. Yeah, it's just sleeping. Hmm. There's old crates huh? here. There's a lot of smuggled stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff they got left behind in this sewer system that has not seen usage in the last several years. <laughs> What's <Well, it's, yeah. laughs> Boris is trying to make sure he's always next to Dorothea. Yeah, yeah it makes no, sense. I'm trying to find the spot where people are overlapping. Try to keep rear guard mm -hmm. to some degree. Mm -hmm. The problem is the rear likes to move very slowly. Mm -hmm. The thick stench fills your lungs. Mm. Uh, You're all hit with Nurgle Rod. Immediate toughness save. <sighs> it's, it's filling mm. your pores with delicious, delicious sewer juice. Disgusting. You, you have a faint memory of the wet smacking of lips. Okay. Thank you, George. Thank you. <laughs> Out to my homie George R. R. Martin. <laughs> oh, my George homie's R. R. Mom, Georgie. I love how you can tell when you read those books when George is horny when he's hungry. Because <laughs> <laughs> if, if he's hungry, he's writing a very descriptive food scene. So when he's you horny, can tell he's writing he, a food he, scene. Who's going to write? Tell, continue moving. You can tell that fat bastard is writing a food scene. Uh, yep. mm. Yeah, so as you step into this room, Sigmund, you see some creatures. They all pause and stare at you. Okay. Well, goes. Yeah, let's go! Oh, Behold, no. the Ratmen of the Ratland. There are no Ratmen in the sewers of Nuln. Shut up! These are not Ratmen of the sewers of Nuln. The they do the not exist. <laughs> The rats. The rats of These no. things all are gonna. Uh, okay, everybody, uh, put in your initiative, guys. Um, how do you do that? Uh, go initiative. to combat and hit initiative. Yeah. Make sure to be clicking your token before you do yep. it, because otherwise it won't put it on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got that one. Just trying to find. Oh uh, yeah. Wow. It's in yeah. controls. In combat. Yeah. It's... Damn. Elf with their fucking sword gets to go. Get in there. I'm gonna now set the order. There you guys go. Mr. Elf, you're first. In this room, you find what appears to be a bunch of smuggled uh, barrels of what appears to be booze. An actual fresh booze. And these ghouls are moving it around. They all pause and they look at you. Charge. As it raises its claws to attack you, but you charge in first. Make your attack roll. Challenging. Submit, submit. Yep. And you get your bone. Oh my god. I forgot to give myself advantage on the first hit. But yep. yep. So it's going to be eight. That's going to then minus. So it takes eight damage. You just slam into it. This ghoul was not expecting to just get bodied by a fucking sword. <laughs> oh yeah, and you said we are playing with max advantage, right? It's ten? Yeah. Okay. Just so then I can put into my combat options. Just max eight advantage. damage to this poor bastard. Uh, as he's like, where? As he's confused, as you just stab him. Rat. Max advantage. Yeah. The, yeah. Because the, every time you get advantage, which is any time you get a crit, any time you get a hit, you get an advantage. It gets you a bonus to hitting. Uh, oh, shit. just for hitting, I get another advantage, or yeah, you hit, so you'll have another advantage for next turn. Okay. Wait, so how much advantage do I get? You don't, you don't uh, get advantage. You start, you start with zero. Stuff. You get a lot of advantage. If you charge, you get an advantage. Uh, if you hit, you get an advantage. If you, you crit, you get an advantage. Okay, so. Uh, and if you down enemy, you get an advantage. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, I think I can charge? Mm, not that guy. Okay. Mm, so. It's kind of a little bit of an odd angle. You're not in a good place for charging. Yeah, so. You can walk in right now. 
Okay, yeah, so I will walk in. So how far can I walk? I think six? Four? I think four. Yep, four. So I, I can really get right here. <laughs> Mira just kind of wanders in. Yeah. Sigmar boy, you can see a ghoul behind that pillar staring at you lustfully. Can I charge him? Yeah, or do you want to charge the one the caveman just attacked? I think he's going to be met with a very unfortunate, you know, accident <laughs> very soon, so... Oh, okay. I want to charge over this one. Yeah, sure. Move yourself next to that ghoul. And that gives you an advantage. And gives you an advantage okay. plus 10 because you're charging. So you get plus 10? Alright. Yep. And you get the... an advantage. A lot All of right. Is this challenging? Yeah. yeah, it's challenging. All melee and all combat attacks are challenging. And then I get a target bonus of 10? Yes, because you're charging. Okay. I SL that. bonus, I don't think that matters. It did not roll. Give me a second. Did you click cancel instead of OK or? Let me try it again. Yeah, just try it again. Let me do it again. OK, I didn't roll it again. And you're hitting your weapon, right? In weapons? Yes. Give yourself a swing around. Diplo can maybe mess with NC. Let me see. What is it? It's a problem, Gio. I'm looking. Ah. Give him some time. Well, there we go. I think I know the problem. That's oh. Good. Okay, yeah, I didn't check that. Let's try it again. Giga boom. Good try, good try. Uh, is that just a test or is that my actual roll? That's a test. I was making sure everything was working. Okay. All right, you coin flip. No. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> that's a great right. No, that's a five. You roll a five. Okay, I can't tell. It's I'm no. His target green, number is sixty-six crit. for that attack. I, I'm just used to green mean crit. So. No green mean success. Big crit. Okay, so that's a that's a healthy six successes with a nine, meaning that that's going to be. Um, nine from the restraint damage. Then this guy gets to apply his toughness. Uh, he's not looking so far. Uh, pummel as well. Oh no! Why are you doing this to this poor little ghoul? He just wants to, to be. A, he does. just wants to be a ladies' man. I have to see what you pummel pum does. You pummel. You know, yeah. You just, just beating this poor thing. Poor thing. I mean, he was asking for it. Yeah, <laughs> dressing like that, he was asking for it. Uh, yeah, if you score a head hit with a pummel weapon, yeah, no, you did not score a head hit. You scored a. Oh, okay. You hit him right body on the torso. Hit. You just crunched some ribs. And damaging. Thank God, see my wrath. Yeah, and damaging is really good because what damaging does is it lets you use your success level or what your tens number was for the amount of damage you do. Which means if you roll a 60 rather than it being plus one, uh, plus zero for success level, it's plus six. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, after that, it's now the ghoul's turn. <laughs> this ghoul's like in pain. And it goes and slashes at you with its claws. Uh, you can attempt to dodge, Sigmund, as it turns to slash you with deadly claws. I just rolled dodge, yeah. Yep. Oh. How do you do, Sigmund? How Let's do see. You do is it time? just challenging? Uh, yeah, it's challenging. No. Oh, good try. Nope. Uh, sadly, that is not a success. So this thing claws you with its deadly claws. Uh, so it does uh, a healthy... Ooh, that is going to hurt. Uh, Where does it hit me? It does seven damage to an arm. Okay, so yeah, that does hit me. Yep. Uh, then you get to apply your toughness and your armor. Alright, so my toughness is... Three. Three, so it takes me... Three. Three. From seven, so that's... Four. Yeah. Four. Because you only have body armor. Yeah. 
you have armor. I don't have armor. Yep. And the ghoul over here next to Catam is going to be like, Rawr! and swing at him and miss. And this one's going to hey. go. As it rushes at Sigma and screaming as it leaps at him for his tender neck meats. Oh. Uh, Sigmund, you have another ghoul leaping onto your back and clawing at you. Luckily, this one's only doing a healthy uh, five damage. So that be and it's a is it a body hit? I think it is actually. Yeah, if it's a body hit, then that's three. It only does two damage to me. Yeah, it does two damage. Oh, so now you got two ghouls slashing you. Oh, uh, as you're getting slashed by these ghouls and their filth caked claws, I could request from you a endurance check. You have skill in endurance. Yeah. Where is my endurance? Uh, it's also in combat controls. Oh, is that? Endurance, perception, dodge, intuition, cool. Initiative. Challenging, no bonus. Giga. Yep, yeah, you're fine for it now. Uh, Dorothea, two creatures have leaped onto Sigmund, and another is attacking Catam, and they're going, and they're clawing uh, and scratching Catam's at people. Catam's saying Sigmund getting ganged up on wheel, shout for them to help Sigmund. Oh. Well, uh, I can move up to here. Yep. You can see the horrible sight of these creatures mauling people. And then I'm within three squares. And I hopefully roll uh, this I blessing of healing good enough. Ooh, I hope that I pray good enough to heal your wounds. Oh, you gotta pray hard. Oh, oh please let him be all right. <laughs> and failure. <laughs> and Raya no. just says, "Lol, fuck him, nerd." <laughs> <laughs> he's Sigmar Flock. He can halt a hit, take a hit. He yeah. can actually. He's taken to it. He's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's also not got anything in there that's worth yeah, keeping alive. Yeah, but each additional wound brings you closer to death. So best that to get rid of them as soon as possible. Boris, it's your turn. How far is my charge range? You can't charge anybody because you don't have a good line to them. Oh, okay. yes. Well, then I can only same slide. issue that Mira also, had. I the light. There's a mm. there's this stone wall in your way that you kind of have to waddle around before you can set it up. Ah, uh, the, the bane of Civil War armies, a stone wall. <laughs> well, I can't I charge it. I can only do my walk, which is eight, so... You could run. I thought you couldn't run without taking a penalty and getting hit. Okay, you want to... No, then just walk, yeah. Set yourself up for next turn to charge. I mean, what is going to hit us? What is going to hit you? Like, I don't know, one of the turns around? I mean, I yeah, that could happen. I, mean, I could reach this at a walk, though, so yeah. I'm going to walk. I, I'm kill I'm hitting the guy in front. Ah, uh, swing. Believe in yourself. Uh, so I have two advantage. He dodged. And I crit, so that's another advantage. You s you just impale this dude in the body for so aye, much. Aye, aye. Um Roll me roll me uh two D one hundred for your critical hits to this poor bastard. This poor ghoul. Poor fucking victims. Victims get me. As you reduce him down to zero wounds and <laughs> low oh. blow, he's stunned and ragged wound, he's bleeding. Either way, he's not getting back up because he's a, um, a dying boy <laughs> lying there. Kadum, Kadum just slashes into this thing's chest and splits it in twain. So, mm. I have a normal... I can still move, right? Yeah. I have a walk of ten. Does that mean I can move ten squares? Yes. One, two, three, four. You One, just, you just want to get into flanking? Two, three, four, five. Well, I don't want to intervene with people's charges, so... You're six, just going to walk up a joint. Seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm you just walk. The elf just literally arrows. rushes past everybody. 
like the fucking wind it is now hops up on the barrel behind the ghoul the ghoul is just shocked ah, Mira it's your turn so uh, there's two things I could do uh, I can aim for the one behind or I can aim for this one steal a kill yeah let's go for this one Nice. Don't want to be a filthy kill stealer. Wait, did I get advantage of hitting one of them? Yeah, you have advantage. Now you're Charge! Totally yeah, that's Give that's why charging advantage. is so good, because it, it starts giving you advantage. So, yeah. challenging, correct? Though, to be fair, you do lose one advantage because you got hit, yes. so you're down to only one. Yeah, okay. okay, so challenging. So, uh, what is the bonus for... Uh, what is my target bonus? Ten. Ten. Because you charged. Okay, uh, uh, nice. Ow. <laughs> this poor ghoul is just like minding his life, enjoying life. Then he gets fucking clocked by a boat hook to his left leg, and fucking the left it. leg stabs the impulse back. <laughs> it's it's barely standing, and it's sad. Sigmund, it's your turn. These two ghouls have both been just wailed on. The one's leg is shredded. The other's torso is collapsed in in a place. But these half undead men groan in pain and look at you. This gentleman's getting another smack. <laughs> I believe. Oh. Yep, you're gonna do it. Swing. Oh, the big war hammer comes up. The power of Sigma in your grasp. You feel no it. target bonus. No maidens. Unfortunate. <laughs> Didn't charge. Then you drive the hammer forward. Down. And missed. It's because I said you were maidenless. That's my fault. You are maidenless. I could use one of my like fate points. Yeah, you, you could. could. You give give your fortune. Choice. But yes. Uh, yeah, I'll use fortune. a fortune to just re-roll that shit. That's a good choice. Nice. You got this. The giga re chance. the giga re-roll of hell. Nah. The <laughs> giga re-roll of hell. Oh, I hit him in the fucking body. So yep. hit gives you an advantage. Yep, and that's a uh, that's gonna be enough. Roll me do a hundred for your critical. Yeah. Uh, as you do a healthy damage to this man. Oh God, why you just <laughs> you you smack with a hammer, wrenching open the torso. It just kind of cracks open, like a clam. <laughs> and that's why we have the spike on the back of the hammer. Yep. This, and as you pull back with a spike, it hooks and rips a line through the flesh. Nice. Oh, you're removing them from the board now. Do you not want me to kill the mother I bleed? <laughs> <laughs> you're before Sigma! Mm. Wait, I get another advantage because I killed him as well. Yep, yeah, that's how that works. And, yeah, you, keep, you only keep advantage until the... End of combat, ends. Right? Yeah, until the fight ends, yep. and then it goes away. Uh, as that's happening, uh, Caden. Yep. What up? Uh, you feel invigorated hey. from this. Uh, the ghoul's turn. It's going to, in this situation, with no masters around, it's going to say, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. Uh, I so, think I get to swing it. Yeah, Mirror gets the first swing. Then, then Sigmund. Mirror misses. Uh, Sigmund, you're next. All right, I'm gonna swing at this gamer. Maybe I'll knock out his fucking leg. You have lots Dude, of advantage, so I would not be surprised. With three advantage, and then and poor Boris like, is just like, wait, what? Is do I get a Boris last? Do I get a bonus for him just fucking no, hauling ass? No, you don't, because he's okay. using his action to run. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> oh. ass down. Okay, so that's gonna be nine plus six, so fifteen, so eleven wounds. Uh, that's bad. Uh, and the crit body. is eighty-six. I don't know why I keep hitting no, in the no, body. No, no. Some no, random. You need, thing, to, I guess. Uh, you need to roll me what the crits are. That eighty-six is the yeah. where you hit him. Oh, yeah, it did actually roll the crit. There's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. the other one though, because you also reduce him to zero wounds, you do a second crit. Eight. So your blow is you use the spike, you 
catch his side, and at first thing it's just a slight scratch, but as he runs, he pulls, the hook goes in, and rips out his intestines as they come with him. With a... With a Nolly. brutal, brutal wound of an 86 being a gut wound. He has to deal with, he would have to deal with disease and infection if his guts weren't, you know, already partially dead and he flops. I'm glad Dorothea didn't need to witness that since it was on the other side of the pillar. <laughs> yeah. Now you just have to go past the pillar. <laughs> Let's give me enough time to go feed my dogs real quick. They're bugging me. Yeah? You just that just happened. It plops to the ground in a meaty mess. <gasps> Victory. What were those things? Uh, would mm. I know what they were? But Mars is gonna look at the corpse like not difficult apparently. They are uh they are undead. They're ghouls. They're yeah. ghouls, just undead. Yeah. Also, nice Clearly. hits, everyone. Took care of that quite effectively. Clearly, the rats have null. Yeah, make sure we get rid of our advantage. Yeah, you guys have successfully just killed a bunch of horrible creatures. Nickman, that's a nasty scratch on you. Oh, uh, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna do heal tech. Oh, everyone's healing. You? Yeah. Oh, has everyone healing? Everyone heals. Well, not heals everyone, everyone, but I also think our uh, Erothea might yeah. be healing you. Yeah. Um. What is it? Uh, is it? Should I use the blessing out of combat, or should I use? Do the not. Effect? The thing is, blessings is eventually will just piss off your god for keep. keep yeah, blessing. that's what I fear too. Do it. I mean, Invoke I'm gonna your... invoke his anger. Oh. I'm gonna. There's... I'm. I'm gonna fortune that. Don't worry, I'm out of fortune, but I get more later probably. Listen. We'll I'll be right back. Okay. I thought you used it all the time. No, I only had. I have two fortune. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so unlucky. The same roll. I'm gonna take a shit. I'm back. Yeah. I gotta fuck oh. shit, man. Holds his hand out like, oh, I can, uh, I can call upon the the gods. Where the fuck are they? Where are you, lazy bastards? Busy drinking margaritas. Um. Uh, you can always heal check. Let's see. A failed heal test can potentially cause wounds. If your intelligence bonus plus SL uh, totals less than zero. Some get less than zero. Simple. So this is four minus four for an impressive failure, and his intelligence bonus was... Uh, if it's 42, it's gonna be plus 4. So it equals 0, so it was it doesn't cause yeah. more wounds. That's good. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> intense. Intense. Let me do it for you. We are out of combat... Yeah. Oh yeah, we're out of combat, so it isn't even as challenging, is it? Oh, no, it, he should have It should be them. average. Uh, but I might wait for Diplo for that one. Still be failure. <laughs> yeah, just won't yeah. be as bad, so it still would be nothing. Dorothea, on the other hand... Oh, that's Let a great. Let me do it for you. Your your heal check is pretty much as good as my uh, perception checks. Yeah. I wanted to get a swing in there. There was a few enemies. I want to do it for you. And I have a. Maybe it's just me. I have a sneaking okay. suspicion that the. Uh, Heal wounds equal to your intelligence bonus plus SL. So my intelligence bonus is a nice four. So that's uh, healing nice nine wounds. 
Nice. We will Congrats. let Mr. Sigmund know when he gets back. I have, I have a bad feeling that whenever we do get ambushed, uh, somebody is going to forget. And by somebody, I mean Diplo is going to forget that they have six cents. It's not great because I've got like low int, but wish him, but <clears throat> supposed to give me like a net of hey, when you get jump, you uh, DM has to make a roll to see if I sense it or the... Just let Diplo know. Hmm. The problem is the secret roll is the issue. I'm I'm, so, I'm back right now. Got done feeding my dogs right now. It's Welcome fine. Back. People went and did some other things too, so we're like on a five minute hey, hiatus. Hi, uh, for talking. Oh, All right, I'm now on. we're just waiting for one more person. Hunger. Mm. Uh, by the way, does anyone have any, um, uh, what's it called? Trappings in their inventory which can be used to dress wounds? Uh, let me go To check prevent my... infection? No. See, I didn't put it in my inventory, but I do have it written in my advances. Uh, uh, I got a bottle of alcohol. I have no. bandages and they are mine. I have Is it racks. sufficiently high proof? <laughs> yes, to... given the fact that it's made for okay. getting drunk and drunk, so. If you can get drunk off of it, then it's clearly safe enough to clean wounds. That's how it works. It's yeah. also why Doc can't have it, just in case. <laughs> also, I assume no blood on the sword again, Diplo? Do you mind me using that to dress uh, Sigmund's wounds then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No blood again. It's enough to yeah. Takes out the flask and hands it over. All the blood. It's not what? much. Just damping a cloth and then... this might sting a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely, it's strong stuff. <laughs> Stings intensely. You just yes. Hear the scream. Yes, I know, but you say that it stings a l just a little to prepare the mind. <laughs> If you say it stinks a lot, it stinks more. <laughs> I'm gonna go get water right quick. It is a good thing. I gotta bring up, I'm fighting with a, a fucking, not even a weapon, just a tool. Wait, what are you fighting? I'm fighting with a boat hook, which is a tool, not even a weapon. <clears throat> I see. It's literally used to move boxes, grab onto uh, roping and stuff. I'm just saying it out. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm back. Did Diplo go somewhere? I don't know, I haven't heard from him. I assume he exploded. Who bets the cultist problem is uh, completely dealt with? And then we won't see any more cultists.
Man, so far, the sword doesn't miss. <clears throat> oh, no, it doesn't. <clears throat> Just the elf raising up that advantage. The, the, uh, yeah, consistently. Elf privileges. I, I think I have a weaker weapon strike than, like, most our team. Plus, could never be. I'm not even made for fighting, that's the thing. Yeah, I have a 46 only. I just... Yeah, when, when pluses start coming in. When the enemy starts hitting, they're going to hit go hard. <clears throat> I have a great dodge. Oh. I rolled uh, pretty well in some of my stats. The biggest one being a uh, initiative. Hello. Hello. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi, back. I'm Diplo. Oh. How much did I heal, if any? Nine. Nine? No, that's pretty we good. We did the math. Yeah. Nine, 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 nine. Nine would actually yeah. put me back up to full. Yeah, Dorothea healed you. And now Dorothea's gone. Typical Germans just leaving. Out of a uh, call. Yeah, and I get being called away yeah. because of... <sighs> nonsense. It'd be that way. Your dad being unreasonable. <clears throat> oh, oh. Does me feel invigorated do anything, or did you already take care of that on my You'll sheet? You'll see. Okay. Invigoration. Yeah, you're feeling great, man. <clears throat> That's fair. I, I have not missed since I got this sword. I haven't gotten many swings in the first place. That, okay. That's a you problem. Yeah, ha having 20 movement speed of run, so to charge with is, you know, nice. Sucks. Well, 20 movement actually, then. Yeah, I can move 20 squares. Then. Agility and intuition took the L. My, my rules, said. So, are we stopping here? What? We're missing a. a We're nun. missing our healer, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can message we, them? We'll continue a bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. I already said we were, these were going to be relatively short, so only two and a half hours or so, but yeah. Uh, the next room is actually important, guys. I do Impossible. plan on checking it. It's full of barrels that are being used to create liquor. Illegal liquor. Uh, you can even you know see passageways that must lead back into town. They're used for smuggling it. Ah. Uh. Now, it would be a bit weird if the noble woman was just showing you all this for some reason. If she's, you know, actually... Because you, you guys could easily just make your way out that way. Yeah, this is weird. Something else is... I just still don't trust her. Sorry, I don't, got, I don't trust her. Oh, I don't trust her either, but I do want to check out the rest of this down area. I imagine after we try to go back, she's just going to have us eliminated. Well, it's not a bad call, honestly speaking, if I if I was taking bets. Also, you there's a thing in here that stands what out. Of, what, what is the thing? What kind of thing, yeah. Oh, uh, here. Here, it's on the map. It's the super rat. That is... So, uh, behold. Do I is... know anything of what that could be? It's a rat. Oh, shit. That's not a just rat. a rat. What are you talking about? It's a rat with a mouth on its back. and That's a motherfucking rat. Do and I you know, see any more rats like that? Yes. Uh, it's got seven right. extra eyes. It's got a mouth on its back, little claws, and it looks at you. Rat. And then it starts. Why is God left me incomplete? Please, God left me unfinished. It starts wiggling. 
um, pulsating and je- and jiggling. Sigmund, keep that thing away from me. Oh well, we're we're going in. The re is going to go at initiative ten. So what? that's the important thing. What accent was that? The writ. What? Was that your the attempt rant. at a southern drawl? What are you doing? The rant attacks you with fervor and might. This is a, an Incorrect. abomination to nature. <laughs> the rat's maw opens up. Its jaw splits three different ways. Yo, shit, is that a Matt Mercer patented toothy maw? Charge. It's got uh, one of the rat teeth, you know, those long, always growing teeth in each of its mouth quadrants. Uh, for target bonus, do I just put 10 or do I need to add the plus sign too? Uh, no, you just put, but also put 20 because this thing is large. Oh, okay. There's a lot of rat here. Except when they're I will spend my fortune to reroll. <laughs> well, one time he doesn't hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With this much of a bonus, I'm gonna spend that. Wait, what is it this month? Fuck, it's oh, it's barbarian this month. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're you're looking at your Melissa calendar, huh? Uh, can I confirm or deny what I'm doing at the moment? <laughs> you right. stab the riot. It goes red. It says that by the by. Oh, our priest is back. Uh, well, Coleman. Mira, it's your turn. The rat just said rat. Do I really want to get in the melee range of that thing? Do you? How comfortable are you that you can get out of its way? Its tail is pointed, and you see spikes on the tail as they're being loaded into spike. position. Hello. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you get in melee or not. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, okay. You have plus 30, correct? Because of 20. Twenty. Yeah, you get one advantage and you get a plus twenty because it's large. So, so thirty or twenty. Advantage plus, one plus. and a plus twenty. Yeah. Okay. I think I got this correct. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you we're, we're nick the rat, that right and the rat on. looks at you annoyed. Uh, it's now your turn, Sigmund. The rat stares you down. Rat. Sigmund's gonna get down on his knees. Blessed mouth. Sigma. Grant me the strength to shatter my foes. And I'm gonna cast my little blessing of uh, battle. What's that do? Uh, it gives me plus ten uh, weapon skill if I succeed on the prayer check. Pray, Sigrun, to pray for your god to save you. Please, god! I'm actually... I can... That is is so... I can spend a fate to make that succeed, actually. Do do you want to? Fates are hard to get back. Yes, Uh, I do. Okay. That's where the rat goes. Uh, and then I and then I get a plus ten to my weapon skills, so I need to go and put that in. That's effectively one more advantage. Boris, it's your turn. As Dorothy, you see this rat staring everyone down. Uh, rat oh, how God. locked off is this area? You can charge at the rat. Do you have plenty of room? Uh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about charging charge the rat. I'm mean, asking how locked off is this. Not very. Those pipes are all up high. Yeah. Okay, so those are high pipes, not low pipes. Because they're not obstructing. Um, I'm gonna do a... <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna do a run. Um, okay. Remaneuver myself from... That... That's it. Okay. Dorothea, what are you going to do? There's a giant rat here. Uh, um... Oh, shit. A rat? Its giant toothy maw opens up 
with the teeth. Each tooth is undulating on its prehensile gums. Okay, fuck it. I should try and sh uh, Actually, there are already people in melee, so I don't know how shooting into melee works in this. Uh, you'll be fine. It's a big target. You get a plus 10 to shoot it. Also, it's a big target, so you don't have a penalty, because it's... You know... Okay, range is 20 yards, which... You have plenty of range. I am in. Yeah. Because 20 yards is the yeah. light. So... Uh, I put the lantern down and... Bang, bang. Mm, do I take a round to aim? Yeah, if you want to. You could very much do that. I, I, I mean, trust your judgment. You have not let this team astray. I would say yeah, shoot I will now. aim for a round. Nice. Yeah. This is where Rakan uh, just crits it, and both my full action blessing <laughs> and your full action aim are absolutely fucking useless. He just, the sword just takes the kill, rolls up one, decapitates the rat the as, it rolls a as it rolls a hundred. This is where it just fucking kills. This is where the elf just fucking kills it. Yep. Just fucking Mortal Kombat finisher. No, the All rat's right. turn. The rat goes. Who's the rat swinging? It's going at? to try and eat mirror with its mouth. Its back okay. mouth. The uh, back mouth. Oh. Mirror, you can make a dodge. Uh, as it, as it dodge. rolls onto its side, as its back mouth opens up wide to try and swallow you. Any bonuses? No. No bonuses. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going to fail this. Munch and crunch. Oh. Okay. Uh. Uh. Guys, Ugh. guys, don't worry, it's fine. Oh. oh. Oh, goodbye, Mira. You will be you missed. You all watch as the rat flops onto its side, the mouth opens, and each of the undulating prehensile pieces of the gums extend outwards like a Mori eel's jaws around Ew. Mira, clinking into place like a cage and drawing her in. Okay. Uh, Mira, you are now inside rat. I blame you, Elf, before she disappears. <laughs> Why do you blame me? You're the one who got up here. Big lumberfoots. <laughs> You're the one making all the noise. <laughs> I'm gonna make all the noise. Okay, uh, Mira, I have good news. Are you ready for how much damage you're gonna take? Good. How much? Okay. Fucking so, mayflies. Mira is gonna take a healthy, a healthy. It has the rat has. Four levels of success there. So that's four. Plus mm -hmm. the strength bonus of its weapon being five. So that's nine. And then its strength being five as well. So that is a healthy 14 damage. I take ten. <clears throat> yeah, because you have toughness. So you go, yeah, you take ten damage. Oh. And you're inside the rat. Great. Oh shit, mm -hmm. rat. I am. I am not looking so good. Uh, Maybe I should turn. If you're inside the rat, it. you will take uh, the rat's toughness bonus plus strength bonus and damage, uh, ignoring your armor, obviously. I have no armor. Yeah. Well, no. that's just important for you because that just means you'll take uh, ten damage minus your toughness because the acid inside there. You're gonna take one hundred. Yep. Uh, so the rat just did that. Caden, it's your turn. Oh well, Caden. Mirror's gone. Or gone as she can be. The rat's the mouth is closed. Way to get someone out. Stab it. Stab yeah. it. Wow! Well, stab. You stab <laughs> it in one of its legs. The rat wants it a cry of pain. Ye pain. Pain, Peko. Yeah, the rat's still standing though. As you just hack into its side. This thing is big and chunky. He's. Oh, would I have gone? Uh plus 10 or anything for it because of how big it is. I yeah, you do. Oh, I didn't roll with that, so I guess take that off where I currently rolled the 19. Well, that plus 10 will make it so that you have a additional success level, which is just one more damage. Okay. Uh, it's now Sigmund's turn. Sigmund, this rat just swallowed Mira. 
You may be able Segment. to save her still. Segment gets up from one knee, halves his hammer in both hands, closes his book, charges at the rat like a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Blood for the god emperor. Yep, so you'll have uh, an advantage here, a plus 10 for size, a plus 10 for your prayer, and a plus 10 for the charge. So you'll have a plus 30, oh. plus 1 advantage. 30 bonus plus the one advantage I have. Yeah. This is going to be a giga hit. Giga hit of hell. Oh, that right leg's getting fucked. 69 and 9. That's your target number. Nice. Okay, so you do. Nice. You do another 9 damage just ripping into its uh, right leg more. This poor rat's leg is just crazy. Crunched away. Our, knee tapping its <laughs> Our friend in the stomach, us fuck up the <laughs> knee. Uh, you're, you're to, you're trying, you just, it's the same leg. You've just hit its front right leg and then its back right leg, and you just crunched both of them. It's just like. <laughs> Stigma, see my wrath. Mirror, it's your turn. Okay, how much damage I take? Uh, you will be taking after your toughness six. Uh, you can okay. struggle to try and break free uh, by trying to like cut your way out, etc. By making a weapons check. Doing so, though, will make it so that you uh, have to deal with the teeth, which will bite back, basically. So if you fail, your success, your failure level will do damage to you as the teeth shred you. Oh. Or you can you wait out help. and hope your allies get you out in time. You might Boat want... hook! Oh, God, that's a risk. Yep. You're always going to have uh, a negative 10 because you are currently blind inside of a rat. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, hard yeah, to get that okay. leverage to hook the rat open. Okay, so... Challenging. Uh, no advantage. Negative 10. I believe in you, Mira! Mira! Uh, Mira! Uh, yeah. Mira! Don't forget, you have fortune. Yes! You know? if, oh, nice. <laughs> Plus Guys, two, six, I have good news. Mirror's oh, out. Right. Mirror, roll me a D100 as Mirror explodes out of the back of the rat as she breaks some teeth open and prides herself out, half, half covered in rat blood, rat gore, and other rat good uh, juices. <laughs> the rat is still going, but Mirror is now technically, technically uh, free as she's standing atop this. Rat uh, uh, she's broke it's an... That's the biggest technicality I've seen in a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. defy you fucking rodent. Uh the the best part is that as it does this it causes the rat to slip and you notice it one of its legs kinda snaps at an odd angle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with... fuck up its legs! <laughs> yeah, because it's trying to deal with her. So the leg that you earlier slashed, it tries to put weight on it, and the leg just snaps outwards. Dorothy, it's your turn. This horrible rat. <laughs> okay, is sticking I have it. aimed and it's large, so this is an easy roll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, click, click. Nice. Hey! Ain't the right look again! <laughs> <laughs> so so so, the, so the, the, the left leg was injured. Now the right leg goes out as pff, the arrow goes through. Roll me a d100. Uh. <laughs> Not d199. D100. There we are. Super rat. <clears throat> oh god, it's poor legs. Uh. Why are you doing this to this rat? It needs those legs for running and eating people. <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah, its knee just pops mm -hmm. out at an odd angle. Crunch. So now it's one or it's one front leg, the muscle is all torn and floppy, and the other one, the knee just pops out of place and literally pops out, ripping out. And this thing is still roaring in pain. Boris, it's on you now. Can you finish off this giant beast as it screeches in agony? <laughs> Oh, like all the advantage, oh, fuck it, because we're now three people surrounding it. I don't think I can charge it from this angle. I'll allow so. you to charge it, yeah. Okay, well, Because you're just leaping think. or in. It's a bit awkward, but yeah, you can do it. Oh, wait. No, I'm uh, also moving. Uh, oh, okay. Do, 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 do. She moves up to chance the rat. Yeah. Better for the next shot. 
Um. Okay. So, what I'm? How is that coming out exactly? You get one advantage because you were charging. You get a plus ten okay. because you're charging. You get a plus ten because it's large, and you get a plus ten because there's now three of you on the rat. You cut out the last part there. Would you say plus ten because three of you are on the rat? So, okay, so you have a plus thirty and, and plus one 30. advantage. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn this off. So that, uh, that rounds up. So it's it's a plus advantage gives you a plus ten on the on the roll, right? Effectively. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kill it. Kill it. Uh, Is it dead? Damn. That's a pretty terrible roll. Roll me a D100. How are you doing here? Get uh, on the arm, the leg. <laughs> he hooks uh, it. 53. You hook the other uh, <clears throat> other front limb. So the so the one front limb has been shredded. The other the back limb has been kneecapped. And now the uh, now the front limb again gets hit. This time, it snaps as it cleanly breaks, and with those amount of injuries on the rat, the rat falls. Burr. The rat falls. <clears throat> is it dead? Dead? Or is it, is it lies out? there? Its eyes, many eyes, looking up at you, all staring at you. As the rat bubbles, I'm just gonna smash one of its eyes closed. <clears throat> uh, no, is it, before its eyes close, as it stares up at all of you, the eyes all pop and explode. Uh, horrible rat juice all over you. Oh. It's, it's, you're all just coated in delicious rat juice. I'm just gonna wipe it off and like the like, um, Disgusting. Uh, you think that's disgusting? Try being inside of it. Oh. My, uh... Yeah. I mean, you guys are going to be get, making several rolls at the end of this for some several corruption things. By the way, guys, uh, guess uh, guess how much of my wounds I have left? Two. Uh, two. One. Oh. Oh, yeah, you take another <clears throat> damage in the belly. Yep, I forgot yeah. about that one. As you guys look around oh. at all this, uh, you can see an entranceway that you could take to get to where the orphanage is. Uh, uh, they said the cultists were in the sewers, right? Yeah. Or were they in the orphanage? They, that's what they yeah. said, and you can see that symbol again, right over here, leading down this path. Uh, I don't want to go down <laughs> the path, but I do want to kind of keep a scouting eye down here in case anyone comes here, because we have been okay. making promotions. In the meantime, let us go somewhere away from the red corpse to address your wounds. Yes. Oh. Hey, you see a person at the end of the hallway staring at you. <clears throat> I could just charge him. Do it. Rakan, <laughs> you can charge him. Do it. Do it. Do it. Charge him. <coughs> Do it. You still have your advantage. Do it. Do it. I still have Do my it. blessing. He's doing it. He's Roll done it. it. He Don't forget your extra plus the... 10 and your, another advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can heal while I'm doing distance. <coughs> I figure. Yeah, yeah. You rush Somewhere down the hallway. Okay. Okay, never mind. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, the, the, the man you stab into him. Uh, now that you're up close, you can get a good look at him. There's a, there's a few things to note. Uh, he looks rather monstrous. Does he look mangled? From the <clears throat> uh, well, here, here's the official art from the module for him. Yeah, yeah, it's an official art. Jesus, fuck. Is it in. Oh, Monday. okay. Oh, hey, look. It's, uh, it's a rat man. He's part of the rat clan. Oh. He's gonna be part of the dead <clears throat> clan. So fucking gene stealer called us in the book. I know. I don't know why there's a gene stealer here, but with the amount of damage you just did, he's he's dead. Was Yo, the guy is giga dead. If he's inquisitor, if there's inquisitors and there's basically gene. It's managed. Yeah, you just run him through as you see him just slump as he looks at you. They finally have come. Is the last words he says. 
Uh, I'm going to check out that blade. Like, does does that blade look like I could sell it for a good price? No. Ah, useless. It, it's a good cult knife. Uh, as you as you look at it uh, in the dark down here by yourself, uh, you watch as it kind of melts <clears throat> into a pool of molten metal, and uh, as your sword scrapes it, as you examine it, okay, and it seeps into your sword. Wow. My character oh, sure waves to the elf, like, you're running far from all the light. Well, yes, the there dark. was someone down there. I took care of it, though. All right. Yeah, you can Which see that the door was out? open back here by the bike, kid, because you have the dark vision. Well, and you can see yeah. files, etc., and it seems to be a room, probably some sort of office from the orphanage. Uh, I think I... Huh? Or some other office building, but it'd be worth checking out. Office lord. Yeah. Once else. you're done taking care of those wounds, I think we should go this way and check something out. I saw well, it's the best I here. could do with the time. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. This way, then, once the light gets over here. The light. It burns. I'm coming. <clears throat> Listen, she's fine. All of her organs are inside her body. That's, That's where true. they're supposed to be. Partly singed clothes, I imagine. Here, uh... Speaking of which... I don't like a speaking I of which... I need a average endurance check for our, our dock hand. Ah, uh, yes. Um... You get me beaten. Oh my god, this is gonna be I believe in you. Uh, average endurance check. Okay, so endurance. Uh, Endure. Do it. Uh, where are you, endurance? Where are you? Oh, there it's is. on the main page. Ah, uh, yes, I'm actually good at this. <clears throat> wow, it's a 35. Nice. Sudden pedic. Yeah, you just you just feel bad. You you feel like you're probably going to be sick. Uh, as long as I don't fall on my knees. Yeah. Did this is as you look around, you realize what this must be. Uh, mm -hmm. This is definitely part of the orphanage. That is, uh, rather not the room itself, but this is definitely from the orphanage. Like this is. An orphan master's uh, study. Uh -huh. You know, there's little there's little footstools for putting orphans up on, so you can use them as footstools. You know, all the things you expect from an orphan master's house. Um, are there any documents here? Oh, yeah, plenty. That's all why over I'm the looking. place. It seems that somebody's been going through them. Uh, I'm looking for one specifically. If any of them have it, have a mark of Zine Troy and you talk about. As in Shornergal. Mm. Uh, there's quite a bit. Uh, it seems that a, a cult uh, of of the Nurgal or Sneech, or a, a unified cult of the two, is seeking out uh, Little Sigmar. The cult of Zinch and Nurgal seem to be seeking out Little Sigmar. Horrible. Oh, Little buddy. Uh, we probably need to get, uh, grab this stuff for our employer. He probably wants to read through this stuff personally. Yes, uh, Dorothea, do you mind holding on to these documents? I'm kind of always in the front of things and I don't want them getting ruined. The most yeah. legitimacy you've ever seen about this kid is the fact that literally chaos cults are trying to kill him. I still don't know who these, uh, who Nurgle or Zinch is. It just tells me more people are after him. They want Ooh. him dead, is the thing. They're looking for details. There's also tell in me, here... Tell a, me someone in the Warhammer universe that doesn't want someone dead. There's <laughs> also, by the by, a silver Warhammer sitting on this table. Oh, is it like a full Warhammer or a one-hander? Uh, it's a one-hander, not a two-hander. Disgusting, don't care. Uh, I can I... Hmm? I just want to tell it's quality. You can have it, but I just okay. want to... Yeah, it's standard ahead. quality for it, but it's been sheened with silver. It's rather pretty. Warhammer it's... here. It looks pretty nice. 
I'm going to just take a look at it. I'll look for any, what's it called, iconography upon said weapon. Uh, there's notation here from the uh, the cultist, but as for the notation, there's nothing special about it besides the fact that it has the twin-tailed comet on it. Uh, but amongst the notes, there's notes claiming that the little Sigmar pulled it from the Earth, supposedly. I'm going to oh. just... I'll put it in, what's it called, on the other side of my head, but otherwise... It's, uh, oh. Yeah, which is very uniquely interesting. Very. Sigmar <coughs> used the hammer, and it was... Yeah, it's a very good balanced hammer. It balances in your hand really well. Uh, as so you're moving so along, you guys hear a sound from the door to your south. I immediately, uh... He immediately check <laughs> Check it with my sword drawn. You see a person staring at you. For the most part, you would describe them as a person. They stare at you. You stare at them. They're... I told you there were rats. <laughs> It's not real. It's fake. It's they don't exist. Of, listen, you do, see. Do that. I see <laughs> any marking of Zinchor or Nurgle no, on them? No, not Nietzsche's Nurgle. It stares at you, the rat. No. And it goes, yes, yes. It, it looks ah, at all of it you. Can talk. It's Gender a beast, so. but kill it! Uh, not a beast. This, this doesn't look like the beastman we fought, right? The rat runs the moment someone shouts. I, I can immediately keep up with it. I, I'm an elf. I have 20 feet. You, you have a problem. When it rushes here, this is a small thing and it just scoots through it. So you have to God. pry open. Damn it. And you can see down there, that's another small thing that you have to pry open. And you see the problem here is that these doors have been blockaded on this side by probably the guy you just murdered to stop uh, people from coming in this way. Gonna, but you recognize those are the doors you were just you were at earlier. I'm gonna point to the the, sig, the what was the Sigmar priest's name again? Sigmund. Point Sigmund. Listen, next time if you want to kill it, don't alert it immediately. Quietly prep your hammer and then throw it at. Me. That's how you kill it. Can one of you uh, strong people come over here and try prying this off? Pain. I mean, it was talking, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> it was I've talk. seen... It's a fucking beastman. I've seen ogres talk, and that's a very rough idea, talking. Does that rat look... That rat didn't look like a beastman, right? You oh, be really? noble dark worker, I must get closer. I, shr I shrug and uh... I say, uh... Yep. It didn't look human, so it could have been. What I am, check? What I'm check doing 80 volts. It's not a check, it just takes time. There's no way you're going to do it fast enough to really catch up catch with up. what you realize. Oh. Multiple people okay. But yeah, once all of you get together, you can pry this shit out of the way, get over to the next one, and then have yeah. to repeat the process over here. Oh, do I... S are, are the marks following down here? Because they no. seem to lead wherever the... Okay. But you know what is in here? What? This is a study. Uh, it seems that there was a person here, and they were uh, they were doing research, and more documents for me to read. Yep, that you and Kadem can read. Uh, this one is different than the last one. Yay! There's also a woman in here. She's bound up and unconscious. What? Uh, oh. Uh, can I, again, I, just because I'm on edge down here and I know there's cultists, I'm going to see if she has any marks on her of Nurgor Zinch. She does not. She is bound up and unconscious. Okay. This is the woman. Uh, I, I will, uh. A fucking oh, yeah. <laughs> I will pull out my, uh, she <laughs> bound with rope. down here. It's She's... all, it's... Yeah, yeah. What? It's, all, it's all just monsters. It, if she's bound by ropes, I will uh, slowly cut the ropes. I'm yeah, you gonna... easily can cut what the ropes. species does she appear to be? She appears to be an elf. Mm. Uh, more knife here, great. Uh, Dorothea, do you mind uh, waking her up or checking if she's hurt or anything? Certainly. You'll check to check if she's hurt or what is it? She's just seems to have been uh she's not low in blood 
Oh, wow. uh, I don't know how we fix that. So, she's not low enough that she's going to die, but she's definitely out of it. But the okay. other thing is she's... Uh, the notes in here are rather interesting. It seems that a, a person was in had organized these cultists, and that person uh, seems to be of a particular uh, nature that ghouls. needs blood. Uh, ghouls before. Uh, so what's you reading? This is bad? Good? Can I can we roll anything? Because I'm I'm thinking uh, vampires. Yes, uh, vampires. That's the, what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have I, the knowledge. <laughs> I, I didn't know if you were just being loose to be loose, or if you like just. No, I was making sure that you guys could yeah. connect the dots. Yeah. You're fucking nonsense. Listen, I don't know. Some DMs are like, no, you you have to roll for things. I just always roll like. For it. I mean, yeah. I will have you roll, but it's something that your characters wouldn't be able to put together. But this is. Yeah. It's like oh, so a vampire. Of Sneech or Nurgle was down here. Yeah, so I'm gonna lightly Double slap heresy. her to try uh, waking her up. She's gonna need time to recover. Yeah. Yes. Uh, He's not telling you. We don't have you, but... time. At least, well, actually, we can just bard up this room again. I was gonna say uh, yes. I'm Let's. Hello, adventurers! It's been a few hours. Are you all alive in there? We're still alive. Oh, yeah. that's good. The mistress brought some sandwiches. Well, she had a servant bring the sandwiches. Would you like me to send them down? No, thank you. We'll come up and get them once we're done. Oh, I already sent the servant girl down to bring them to you. Wow. Servant girl, please stay in that. Actually, servant girl, do you have set the keys, set the sandwiches wherever, and head back up? It's not safe. The I'm door's good. already Wait. closed. You realize that that uh, might be the servant girl. Is this door uh? Locked? You guys can this... uh unbar it. It's got a bunch of stuff used to bar it, basically. Uh, tables and stuff mm. and wood. Yeah. Basically, to stop no. people from opening because it swings into the tunnel. You can open it and you see the servant girl. She just says, Oh, hello. Hello. Actually, this is perfect. You can keep an eye on someone for us. Murder. Oh. It's an elf. Yes. Okay. I got this. Um, fucking knife here. All right, we will be back. It shouldn't be. Actually, I don't know how much let's... longer. Yeah. Does she have any iconography on her? She appears to be a uh, high elf. Not, not the um. Oh, she has the same holy symbol as her mistress. What's the holy symbol that? It's right. The mark of miracle. Oh. Oh. The, the holy symbol of the two antlers is Raya. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that was Tal. It's Raya and yeah. Tal's. Yeah. They uh, share a holy symbol. Yeah. No, they don't. The point is she's got the holy symbol of Raya on her. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, I, like I said previously. Yeah, either way, right. uh, you guys can continue going around here, uh, scouring this place. You'll... Yeah. Find more details about the orphanage scattered throughout the sewers. Uh, luckily, uh, because you're taking care of the two big fights, the rest are uh, potential fights with another sewer gator. Because this, for some reason, has sewer gators in it. Sewer I, gators are always to watch out for. I don't. This is actually from an actual Warhammer module. They're albino sewer lizards. Uh, they're yeah. large dog-like alligator-shaped lizards. Yeah, yeah, that does seem like yeah. a module thing, especially if it's from like the early uh, 90s and 2000s. You have to watch out for sewer gators, guys. Yeah. You don't yep. watch out for sewer gators. So I, mean, pack... it... yeah. what? I mean, the, the rat catcher class literally does say that like, the rat catchers in the sewers would look out for like crazy shit down there. Yeah, mm -hmm. now the big oh. thing is, as you guys make your way, yep. 
uh, you guys are going to find something interesting amongst the uh, orphanage once you get to the north side. Uh, and which uh, is as you get up there, been. you'll find amongst the stuff of the broken down orphanage, which is technically right off map up here. Okay. Uh, because the ghouls technically move around, but you guys caught I'm them on there in that this area. That's why mm -hmm. you fought them there. The rat's always, of course, in here because it's sent to guard. Uh, um, fucking Farkarstein's vampires lurking in the sewers now. Great. Point is, what you guys are going to come across, this, this is a really fun thing. You know, everyone's favorite thing. What's uh, that? Ruins? Proof that the kid grew up here in a Shila temple, but was always developing and had kind of this weird uh, connection that made people think that he was special so everyone thinks that he must be blessed by Sigmar uh, rather they thought Shyla initially but then he started showing Sigmar traits and then a priest of Sigmar came by and declared him uh, little Sigmar and took a hot iron and branded the kid's chest uh, recently the kid is like oh. 12 by the by so he's got a giant twin comet brand on his chest now Okay. You know, normal things. Who a child? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome it, to. It sounds like Warhammer. Welcome to the um, Faith of Sigmar. Yeah, this is all stuff that you guys kind of find. Uh, this is in common. The the more recent stuff is in here. The older stuff about the belief is up in the north. But also, you find a rather interesting thing. It's looks to be a small size cannonball like it's too big to be like a sling bullet but it's too small to be a cannonball it's a good few inches across we call that and a it's hand green cannon. in coloration and it softly glows a new hand touches the beak it's just sitting there amongst the wreckage touch the glowy rock dudes Let's not touch that strange glowing thing. I get bad feelings about it. Do I see anything on the rock to show bad feelings about it? Uh, no. No bad feelings on the rock. It, it seems rock perfectly, you know... Out of, out of character, I know what it is. I, can, I know what it is out of character, too. Out of, out of character, it's just refined warp stone. No, it's not. Oh. What do you think it is? It's a poison wind globe. I know what that is. Oh, God, it's the grenade! <laughs> Amazing. It seems perfectly safe as far as your kind of weird, new, innate magic sense is telling you. It seems perfect. Does anyone want this? Yes. I don't know why. No. It doesn't seem useful. Personally, I want to get out of these sewers. You could very easily and gingerly pick it up if you want. What's a yes. that Meanwhile, happened. the party has found the uh, weapon of mass destruction in the sewers. <laughs> what yeah. could go wrong? Yeah. And when you grab... You, do you grab it? Uh, yeah, I mean... You, when you grab it, you else? pull, and you realize that it's connected to a bandolier of about five of these. Oh. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a bandolier. Uh, like one you would, you know, wear on your, uh, chest. Well, you know, I'm not uh, gonna lie, I think we should take these, but this really messes with my style. You know, it, it's even got, uh, as you look at it, it's got a rather unique thing on it. It's got a, uh, symbol of, uh, of a, of a kind of dwarven nature. Mm. Dwarven nature. Uh, uh, a, a dwarven name that Boris would recognize the symbol of. Uh, what's the dwarven name? In question? Or I'm, is just, it just... I'm just, just going to point out it reminds you of a certain thing. You know, okay. uh, when you were just turning into a young man, you were brought to a person who told you your fortune, your doom. I mean... I, I understand the, the, the implication. I just didn't know it actually had a name. Like, was, yeah. I guess I'll uh, offer, like, I'll take it and carry it. And I'm... Okay. It's, uh, 
There's the also a few there other there things in here. Uh, glowing bits of rock. Uh, green rock. rock. Yeah, and glowing so, green rock. Is it in the uh, nation why that glowing? Uh, no. This is going to be kind of glowing. Maybe they're seeped in magic. That would make them worth a lot of money. Mm, magic. Hmm. Uh, out of character, we have found Warpstone in the fucking poison globes. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> and, as long as the rats haven't made their nuke yet. They have made the nuke. <laughs> they're, they're ready to test it. Alright. Something about glowing rocks doesn't seem safe to touch. What makes you think that? <laughs> okay. I'll go grab a glowing rock. Yeah, that's fine. You pick Dude, up some glowing cool. rocks. See, so there's plenty it's of them. Fine. Yeah. Well then, uh, I think we've got everything. Uh, do I see where the marks lead? Uh, the marks oh. seem to have led here, and that's it. The, you found some more notes, as stated, but that's about it. It seems to be the end of it. You found the two sources of information. We right. should <clears throat> um, go back and search. Well, try to track where that uh, beast man you said uh, went to. After all, he could. Uh, they could be related to those cultists. Maybe. Perhaps. Yes. The problem is uh, interrogating a beast man. Will likely not help us. Well, it seemed to speak, so it wasn't at least like the beastman on the road. It also was female. You could tell? It had boobs. It did have boobs. Most, so we could tell. <laughs> no, because the, what I know is... Let's just say the lot of a female beastman is not pleasant. I was going to say, how, how much longer is Sasha going to run? Say he, is so I was going to say, uh, outside of that, you guys can spend a bit more time, but you're not going to find anything in the sewers. Uh, okay. So my real question for you guys is this. Mm. It's a real question. Can we That's ward fun. off the corruption? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We'll get no? to that okay. in a second. What I'm going to ask you is, you guys going to slink out, or are you going to go back up to the noble's estate? Uh, I still want. I want to go back up the main one. I'm one for good. violent confrontation. Yeah, we have to you. check. We have to check uh, how the elf yeah. we found fared, anyways. Yeah, yeah, the problem is that we have to go up because we have that elf now. I'm fine with the main I way. I don't see why you guys have like some kind of uh, moral duty to the elf. I just have to go back to uh, give a piece I, of my I mind. don't know why the elf would have a moral duty to their kind. That's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Kind of, uh, uh, kind of strange. I have moral maybe. duty to all living beings. Come on. That is that is your problem, not mine. Not well, so, some things just don't deserve to live. Case in point, that rat. <laughs> <laughs> you. Which rat? <laughs> the big one or the two-legged one? I, I make no distinction. Or it's a big-ass fucking rat. Yeah. That was not a living being. It was a grotesque imitation at best. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm the main way. Uh, the porter lets you back up. And you guys get to go topside. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. We just wanted to make sure nobody had any problems. Anyways. Oh, he starts walking. I'll lead you back to where you'll be staying this evening. Just follow me. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Technically, it's near morning, but you get the drift. Uh, he's just kind of ignoring the fact that he locked you in the sewers for a bit. Uh, so you guys can obviously follow him, 
or mm -hmm. and get your rest. Or you could always make it a stay, always slink away and go towards the noble woman's manor. Your choice. I reckon uh, I'm gonna. I reckon I just sleep. Yeah. Does Caden see markings heading towards the noble woman's there manor? There are no markings heading towards the noble woman's manor. I just want to. I think Caden's get... gonna sleep. Okay. I would like to get rest, if only because I. Uh, I I think that sleep is good. Actually, I'd probably take botch because I'd like shifts to watch for. Anyway, I'd like everybody because uh, I have a few checks for you to make. Uh, so uh, I would like everyone to make me two endurance checks at challenging and one cool test at challenging. So for danger. Did uh, challenging endurance. So uh, just somebody one... go in order, guys. Just someone do okay. both. Yeah, all three yeah, we'll we'll go Mira okay. first. Yeah. Oh, Damn. two fails. Um, endurance at, at, and a cool. And then one, and then one cool. At challenging as well. Yep. Yeah. Mira actually needs to make a third endurance anyway, so it's fine. That makes my life easier. Mira, uh, are third you ready? One? Oh, look, the third one came up as uh, Yahtzee. Well, yep. no, she actually already rolled. No, they... that endurance was for later, I thought. Oh, okay. Giga Monka. Okay, so, my... failure. Is failure the pool also failure. challenging? Yeah, also challenging. Let me just tell Mira what she gets. Mira! Uh, Plague of Rats. You were swallowed by a mutant, which is... And you had prolonged contact with the... Uh, mutant and it's dark exposure and you were all in a place steeped with dar so mirror i have good news bad news you yes. gain five corruption ah uh, i don't think i can proc i reject you yet no you're not at I the point where you get a mutation sigmund you gain two corruption It's fine. Don't I don't I resist a little bit though with willpower? That, or is that taking into account my willpower? Yeah, that's when you get a mutation. You have to hit oh, okay. a certain amount of corruption before you mutate. Okay, so corruption is where do I put that? Uh, main. Scroll down to corruption points. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Do. Yeah, you need quite a few, I believe. Let's see. I need a lot. And I have like forty willpower. Well, it's not. It's not based on that. It's based on. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. When you get more corruption points than your willpower bonus plus your toughness bonus. Okay. So you need seven, Sigmund. That's and, still a lot needed. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah. Uh, um, I guess Caden can go next. Yeah, Caden can go oh. next. Do I roll anything extra, or Kaden, just the you two roll endurance? Average. Okay. Two endurance, one cool? Yep. Will you the other endurance from me? Oh, yeah, you only rolled one endurance. Uh, oh, I'll yeah, let you... you need to roll me another endurance segment. Roll me, yeah, I'll roll let me your second endurance. Let me do a second endurance, so you only need one. Um... Yeet. Oofed. Oh. The giga failure of hell. Well, the good news is that was for the one, so you only take one more corruption, so you're at three. Kaden is cool. doing fine. He's like, I'm fine. Kaden. Oh, I only can get. We can get <laughs> yeah, you can get. Yeah. yeah, you. It's expected for you to get corruption. It's the mutations that's the problem. Go, go, yeah. Boris. Do your thing. Oh, I'm doing my. Uh, I'm doing it at average. That's challenging. They're challenging for you, yes. Uh -oh. I'm an elf. I get average. I think that's uh, why. Uh, oh. well, that's nice. Uh, we're... Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. Impressive success. Uh, so that reduces it. Yeah. Oh, mine. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, and then where's my cool at? 
Okay. Uh, actually, can I spend the? Can I spend a fortune to re-roll that? Yes, you can spend fortune to re-roll that. Uh, I think it's worth spending fortune roll where. Let. Fuck it. Mark off your fortune. Okay. So, Caden, you gain two corruption. Who does? So, not Caden, uh, Boris, two corruption. Nice. Boris is a little bit more corrupt, but he's doing fine. I don't know why it's two. I thought I see the checks one. You failed one yeah. endurance check. Yeah. No, he failed the cool check. I re rolled the cool he check. He re rolled the cool yep. check. And then your success yeah. wasn't enough to fully negate it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, and you also gain one from the one failed endurance, so three. Oh, so, great. Yeah. Um, yep. You need certain success levels to actually reduce the corruption. That's yeah. fun. Well, it's almost like hammer. corruption has a hard, you can negate it thing. Either I don't way, know, uh, man. I, uh, I don't really like this system, if I'm being frank. You know? Oh, yeah. All you really have to do is you just can't go to a temple and get that removed anyway. It's season. Mm. Yeah, if you've got gold to spend, do I look like I've You have gold? two fucking priests who can do it at a temple. Mm. Two priests, and I pray that their rolls do not explode in their face. I. I Speaking I, of, oh, man. I probably oh, need my soul cleanse. You know, I was in that fucking rat. <laughs> yeah. Like, we have, yeah. we have two priests who can. Mirror surprisingly three. did super well. I got a three. Uh, I imagine if I felt that last one, I probably would have gained a fucking um. I, I also seven really point out you're being a little bitch, Vasian, because again, you have to then fail a check once you get to your corruption yeah, max, yeah. and if you like <laughs> to get an actual thing, because as a reminder, unless of course you want to ride the wave, but I reckon you don't want to do that. <laughs> like um. I'm at five mm -hmm. corruption. Like, getting, I'm two from right, gaining all. a mutation. Yeah, Mutations are fun anyway. They're yeah. so fucking funny. Some yeah. of them are just stupid. Yeah. I don't Should you ever gain more corruption points don't... than your willpower plus toughness, you immediately make an endurance test. If passed, is, really you manage to mutants. hold it off. The you problem don't... is I wouldn't care. Can I finish speaking? No. Yeah, good, okay. If you fail the test, then you corrupt. But it's a challenging endurance test if you pass though you immediately reduce the amount of corruption you have by one uh and that's the benefit uh reducing corruption can be done in other ways obviously but the big thing is again you have to fail that challenging endurance test and it never gets harder unless your corruption ever doubles your willpower plus toughness bonus also the moment you ever corrupt you immediately lose a number of corruption points equal to your willpower bonus. Also, uh, shrines can, uh, each time you would uh, potentially mutate, uh, remove a number of corruption equal to certain things. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you have a... That's the best thing, is if you mutate, that means you can get a bunch of corruption mu moved. And there's also the option. It's not the bad thing. It's the mutation that happens once you reach a certain threshold. There's also the option of I defy you, where um, you take actual wounds instead. Yeah, and you also have the ability to spend resilience to negate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have you have a lot of you have a lot of options to not a lot of ways to mitigate it. Yeah. Anyway, I yeah. still have to roll, so yeah. I believe in you. Challenging, uh, challenging for you as well. Success. Nice. Good. Giga good. Mm -hmm. And failure. Yep. Not so good. Uh, Could have been uh, worse, you know. And try and keep my cool at also challenging, right? Yep. Yes. Challenging as well. Not so Press good. Press a failure. Yep. Oh boy. Well, the good news no. is that that's only three for you as well. Ah, okay. see. Not that bad. Yep. Uh, the other thing is, I can also reduce your corruption to have you do things like just miss an attack roll, uh, fall asleep on watch when you're supposed to be on watch, uh, uh. say, no, you let this enemy go. It's a fun narrative thing that encourages... Dark bargains. 
No, yeah. it sounds more like a tool for the DM to basically hold something over the Welcome to Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, it's it it's there's there's a given pull. We have so many ways to re-roll literally everything. Yeah, okay. I I had five advantage after hitting one ghoul. Like yeah, yeah, advantage. Yeah, like <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I, out of everyone in this session, I got like the worst outcome. Yep. Yeah, you got you got fucked up. I got fucking nearly killed. Five corruption. I didn't get anything of value out of this. I'm having fun. It it's it's um it's it feels um it has a little push and pull which I like because I I really like uh, Star Wars FFG with the the light side dark side shit. That I do like, but I've it's, never gotten to actually play that system with anyone. It is a lot of fun, them. and I love that because... And that's what also the Warhammer thing does, and despite Seth not liking Fate, Fate also does that. Fate is I, uh, garbage. I dislike, I dislike uh, Warhammer's interpretation of it comparatively to Star Wars Fantasy Flight games, but regardless... Do I need to roll anything for this sword, by the way, or will you just message me whatever's going on later? Yeah, okay. It did kind of, it did kind of sip okay. up a knife real quick. Uh, well, listen, listen. I, Whatever the sword is doing, it's it's doing its own thing, man. Let it, let it, let it live its life. Yeah, let it vibe. Chaos we, weapon uh, over there. Do we get any experience or such at the end of session? Just, yep. Uh, uh, yep. Speaking of which, uh, when you guys wake up the next morning, there's an additional. A uh, gold crown for each of you at your nightstand. So we have three gold crowns to everyone. No, the two were no. initially just to Dorothea. Okay. Then okay, you all yep. are getting one gold crown as payment. Got it. So Dorothea um, can still need that to the other two amongst you guys, but yeah, that's. I still to need to break you. those two gold crowns at some point, but yep. I hold on to them for now. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, Since we don't have the silver. Anyways, uh, this is a lot of XP because you guys did a yep. lot. This advances you know, the long-term adventuring goal for your witch hunter, so they'll be right. very happy about that. So, From what I understood as well, I asked someone that you don't ever use XP to advance until the end of a campaign. Ooh. You cannot make advancements until the end of the actual campaign. It's not end of session. It's quite literally end of, like, effectively yeah that doesn't work though because then there's never ever a chance to actually use it because most campaign it's like so far as far as, far as i was told it's that's welcome to warhammer also, they to kill also your that's not my that's game basically and so it doesn't fucking matter like <laughs> yeah i don't know why that's such a i was yeah. just gonna you know, yeah. you're griping I mean, about a problem about my xp i'm not gonna gripe. spend it because other gms are dick bags no, Let's I be was honest. asking if that's if, if we're following by the same thing or not, right? No, I've already said you can spend your XP right. last session. We were allowed to level up last session, so it's like... All right. Sometimes you have to ignore certain rules because they just make the game more boring. I would tend to agree to that. I still don't agree with the corruption system myself, but that's my problem. But that's my take. I'll always prefer... Use it, bitch. Like, shut the fuck up. Straight up. Shut up. I'm gonna check speed we're getting. I wanted to read the chat. Yeah, post it in Discord. Yeah. Okay. What's the reasoning uh, for the additional 75? What it's do we been do? role playing and stuff. And side things that are going to come up for you based on how you've acted here. Alright, 350. Got it. So, uh,. I gain um how much? Two fifty. Sorry, my your Discord crashed. What did you say, Diplo? Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, it's an additional uh, reward based on side things that are going to come up for you later. Alrighty. And also, I will take it. Also, you know, uh, taking out certain enemies gives a little bit. Uh, blah and blah blah blah. That all adds up. Uh, Being add. swallowed by the rat, for example, does give a little bit of XP for a person. Uh, <laughs> session reward of 275. Oh, no, uh, 275. 
Session two. I, I have a feeling by fucking the damn fucking vampire council language is going to come in handy at some point. Uh, oh, like real sh real talk. That guy was just talking a little shit, yeah. Who, Vincent? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was just, uh, he was yeah. Shit. <laughs> just uh, talking uh, a little shit. Honestly, I was room. having a hard time holding my tongue back. <laughs> I. Uh, well, I was told by somebody that I need to be uh, nice to people, you so like you do, and I stand by that statement, babe. So yeah, like you, you do need to be nice to people. That's how that works. I was told that I can't be mean, so yeah. I won't say anything. Oh, good. Just... Yeah, like out of everyone in this entire session, I should be the one complaining, and I. Yeah, not. you should be the most pissed. You have like six corruption. <laughs> like you should be fucking like, oh my. God, I wish I could get rid of this. He gets yeah, I, I get gamer. Uh, gamer gets two corruption and goes, "I'm fine. This game just fucking sucks, man." It's like what? <laughs> Are you fucking I, stupid? I, I nearly fucking died in the rat. <laughs> yeah. So I have a question, <laughs> just so I can understand advances. Do so. My characteristics. Do those need to be up five or up nine? And then my other things need to be up, like, nine, I, I forget. I need to check that, because... What do you mean? So, like, how do I advance to the next one? Which numbers need to be up at which point in their advancements? For your uh, skills? Your main For me to advance to the next class. Level. Ah. So, like, I'm level one, because I just got a shit ton of XP, so I want to make sure I'm okay, spending so this one. Let's see. Your Kitten. Yeah, your Kitten. Okay, let, let, yeah. Here, we can do this pretty easy. Let me look at your Wood Elf stuff. What do you get from being a Wood Elf? Okay. You need five advances. Yeah, you, you meet all the requirements. Do you I? Need, yeah, you can take the next tier. You can start advancing into it once oh, you I just five did. advances in toughness. There we go. Five advances in toughness. No. You must have a number of advances listed below in all your careers, level, levels, characteristics. I and can't it. put five into toughness, Al. And it's yeah. me. Okay, so how many can you put? Was three? Yeah, three. Yeah, but yeah, put three into toughness, and then you know. So I need to put three in endurance. What does that make your toughness at? Yeah, you're two away from a toughness of forty on an elf. Yeah. No, I rolled really good on this character. He's a thick boy uh, elf. So I have five in that. I think my main skill is weapon skill as a okay yeah right. as a novitiate. I need to get five in weapon skill, which I already got. I, 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 I just combined all the XP you would have gotten this time into one thing just to make it easier. So I much, can uh, I can actually go up. The how much XP I get? I get two fifty, correct? Yeah, that's uh, correct. And yep, yep. you and Boris will get two fifty. I think that's gotcha. the real reason he's upset is that he's getting less because like Boris isn't really doing anything. Boris is kind of being like, what the heck? Uh, also, Seth, for you, uh, as a yeah. reminder, because you weren't here, uh, if you're just upgrading your career level, you don't have to spend XP for that. I'm removing that uh, as a thing as long as you meet all the uh, prereqs. I, you have the five advances and everything, etc. So you're not gonna. I don't need to spend XP to level up. Correct. Uh, don't forget, yeah. you need technically uh, as a warrior priest, you need five advances in the three, uh, the three stats, which are yeah. I have five advances in with uh, weapon skill, toughness, and willpower. Oh, oh, well, let me up. You that. get all three oh. of those. You, you okay. get all three uh, of them, bud. I will... uh, what are the stats I need to work on? Because yeah, I have the skill advancements already. Ow. Yeah, here. So five and that. Uh, weapon skill ah. and initiative for you. Five and okay. that. Weapon skill and initiative, so. Yeah, once oh, those advances were five, five, toughness is already at five because you put the five in there initially. Uh, you'll be good. You so also I can't probably want to grab yet. very strong because it's good. Oh, I already yeah. have very strong. Wait, actually, I think I can pull this off. Uh, if I drop dex to four, make oh, yeah, toughness eat. two, or five, yeah. then I can advance. Do it, do it. Yeah. 
Yep, that'll get oh me Oh my god, look at, also, I think that means, look at your toughness. Yeah. You're the thickest elf. 40 like, toughness have, elf. Nice. In your uh, career level. I have four. all my talents for my class. At my you don't rank. need all your talents, you just need one, but yeah. Wait, did yeah. I, did I not put in the, did we earn, did I earn an XP? Yes. No, sure. No, 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 you weren't the there session. at first. Yeah. That All was right, my cool. ruling. If you missed it, don't get the XP. All right, just uh, making sure. Do you want to tell me about my sword or again? Is that I forget what you said? If that was just later I'll tell stuff. you later. Okay. I'm I'm keeping track of it. Then I'm gonna tell you about it. You know, don't, listen, it's yeah. fine. I don't know what you guys are all worried about. Like it's. A, oh, it's I'm a not worried sword. at all. Like, I'm gonna keep using it no matter I'm, what happens. I'm having fun. I'm not worried about anything. I don't give a shit. Yeah, the elf is just using his cool flam birds that he found in a, in a temple. So so now, going back to last session, I'm almost willing to bet that he was upset that I uh, that you took was the going sword. to take levels into two-handed, yes. Where do you find these people, Dippo? Where well, do you find these people? The answer to that is, again, as I stated previously, uh, as a reminder... I was like, I can easily. I was like, oh, Fintius will yeah. do it. Uh, technically, I was like, oh, I'll try and get some people from Mecha server because, you know, there's still a lot of good people there, despite the fact that I don't really talk to much of the people there. And See, I thought you would learn. I thought you would learn from the last time listen, you invited Listen, the reason I don't talk server. to a lot of people on Mecha server is because Mecha doesn't talk to me right now because he's upset for when I called out Word on the Wind because Word on the Wind was being toxic in the RPG server she runs. Uh, have you heard about this, Fintius? No, and I don't care for drama. Yeah, it's not drama. It's just, you know how word is, right? Giga Chad. Yeah. Yeah, well, she decided that she hates me. I was like, what What did I do? No, I just don't like you. I hate you. You barely know me, word, because we only know each other from Mecca, and we're not in the same stuff together. We don't do stuff together. Like, we don't interact and talk, and the word's like, yeah. And I like it that way. Okay, then we don't need to. You don't need to be toxic to me. No, fuck you. And told Mecca to basically server mute me in 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 chats. And I'm like, oh. Mecca didn't do it, but Word would server mute me if she was in the voices while Mecca while I was there. You know, Damn. being toxic as shit. So I was like, oh. So I stopped hanging out at Mecha server and then when word was being toxic again I, to me and other people I called them out and Mecha was like don't do that and I'm like Mecha she's being a shitty person to everybody here well, not everybody but enough people that you need to talk to her about this well she's my friend I'm not going to and suffice to say yeah, Mecca didn't kick me oh, because I was right. I but... that incorrectly. All right, yeah. it is time. It is I just time to continue my, my wonderful playthrough of Driftmark. Yeah.